I greet you all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Na wasalimu nyote katika jina la Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. We cannot do a any presentation without reading the scripture. Hatuwezi kufanya maongezi yote bila kusoma maandiko. So we will stand and read a scripture. Kwa hiyo tusimame na tusome maandiko. Liberation chapter 19 ufunuo sura ya 19 Can you read just 7 and 8 Stari wa 7 na 8 Nitasoma katika jina la Bwana na tufurahi tukashangilie tukampe utukufu wake kwa kuwa arusi ya mwana kondoo imekuja na mkewe amejiweka tayari naye amepewa kuvikwa kitani nzuri ingarayo safi kwa maana kitani nzuri hiyo ni matendo ya haki ya watakatifu na bwana ongeze baraka kwa kusoma kwa neno lake na tuombe Our gracious heavenly Father. Baba yetu wa neema. Lord we have read a scripture. Bwana tumesoma maandiko. We know that any person can read the scripture. Tunajua kwamba kila mtu anaweza kusoma maandiko. But the one that gives an understanding. Lakini yule anayetoa ufahamu. It's you. Ni wewe. And we invite you to be in our midst. Na tunakualika wewe katikati yetu. Help us the Father. Tusaidie Bwana. That we may understand your holy scriptures. Ili kwamba tuweze kufahamu maandiko yako matakatifu. And it is my prayer Lord. Na ni maombi yangu sasa. That God you may help me and use me. Kwamba unaweza nishikilia na kunitumia. In the name of Jesus Christ. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Lord we do ask and pray. Tunaomba na ku tunaomba in the name of Jesus Christ. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Unaweza kuketi. We have read a scripture. Tumesoma maandiko. And this scripture, na haya maandiko, it is talking about a bride. Yananena kuhusu bibi harusi. I think we know. Nadhani tunafahamu when we say a bride. Tukisema bibi harusi, a bride is not a wife. Bibi harusi si mke. It is a woman that is espoused. Ni mwanamke aliyeposwa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you following me? Je mnanifuatilia? So now, kwa hiyo sasa, I think when somebody is looking for a wife, nadhani kwamba wakati mtu anatafuta mke, you don't just go in the street and say oh you find any any, any girl and say yo I'm going to marry you. Huwezi kwenda tu mtaani na ukampata msichana yoyote na kusema wewe na kwenda kukuoa. Is it not so? Je, ndio si sivyo? Maybe it happens like that. Labda inatokea gani namna hiyo? People will tell you. Watu watakwambia we met in a bus. Tulikutana kwenye bus. And then from there a relationship started. Na tangu pale mahusiano yakaanza. We thank God if your relationship work, will work. Tutamshukuru Mungu kama mahusiano yatafanikiwa. Uh, and that's the reason why. Hiyo ndio sababu we are finding problems tunapa, in tunakuta matatizo in, kwenye, ma, in marriage. Kwenye ndoa. So, kwa hiyo uh, Jesus Christ. Yesu Kristo is the husband to the church ni mume kwa kanisa or not to say a husband but a bridegroom like sio kusema mume hebu tuseme bwana harusi and that's why the church is called a bride ndio maana kanisa linaitwa bibi harusi hallelujah hallelujah so when a man kwa hiyo finds a woman wakati mwanamume amempata mwanamke Agree there are certain things that a man looks for into a woman. Nadhani kuna mambo ambayo mwanamke mwanaume anatazamia kwa mwanamme kwa mwanamke. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
when a man finds a woman wakati mwanamume amempata mwanamke the first thing that happens is that that woman must make a decision jambo la kwanza ambalo linatokea ni kwamba huyo mwanamke lazima afanye maamuzi that is in the natural marriage hiyo ni katika ndoa ya kawaida a decision has to be made maamuzi lazima yafanyike by the young lady kwa huyo kijana mwanamke and after whether she want to be with this man ni kama anataka kuwa na huyu mwanaume or this young man want to be with this young lady au huyu kijana mwanamume anataka kuwa na huyu binti kijana now sasa this decision that somebody is making sasa huu amuzi ambao mtu huyu anafanya you have found a man umemkuta mwanaume you don't know his background hujui historia yake you don't know whether he is coming from witches hujui kama anatoka kwa wachawi or he is coming from thieves au anatoka kwa wezi you just see a man oh this man is a wonderful man ona mwana huyu mwanaume na kusema ah huyu mwanaume yuko vizuri oh this girl is a wonderful girl ah huyu huyu dada yuko ni dada mzuri when she is moving wakati anapotembea ah she is really immaculate unasema ah kwa kweli huyu yuko anawaka this is a woman to marry huyu ni mwanamke wa kuoa oh this is a man to marry ah huyu ni mwanaume wa kuolewa naye well that's good vema hiyo ni nzuri but the question that you should ask yourself lakini ni swali ambalo na lazima ujiulize mwenyewe is this the right man that should be the father of my children swali msahihi unapaswa kujiuliza itabidi liwe ni je huyu ni mwanamume sahihi anayepaswa kuwa baba wa watoto wangu those words and questions should actually ring into your mind hayo maneno na maswali lazima yapige kwenye akili yako. And in, as Christians, na sisi kama wakristo, you get married once. Unaolewa au unaoa mara moja. You have only one chance. Una nafasi moja tu. You marry somebody. Unaoa mmoja mtu fulani that's the end until death do you part hiyo ni mara moja ni mpaka kifo kitakapowatenganisha am i speaking the word that you know je nina nena neno ambalo mnalifahamu okay vema so if it is like that sasa kama ndivyo hivyo a person that is now getting into this decision making sasa yule mtu ambaye ana ingia katika hali hii ya kufanya uamuzi of choosing a man or a woman wa kuchagua mwanaume au mwanamke number one, jambo la kwanza you must have prayed about it lazima uwe umeomba kuhusu hilo you have asked god uwe umemuuliza mungu i want a man nataka mwanaume that will love me atakaye nipenda that you respect me ambaye atakaye niheshimu that you do a b c d ambaye atafanya a b c and after you ask god like that baada ya kumuuliza mungu namna hiyo and then god should give you such kind of a person ndipo mungu itabidi akupatie aina ya mtu wa namna hiyo we have talked about how somebody should become a christian tumeshaongea jinsi gani mtu anapaswa kuwa mkristo we all know sote tunajua any person mtu yoyote that has done what we said that you should be born again ambaye amefanya kile tunasema kuzaliwa upya you become a right candidate unakuwa mtahiniwa wa haki au wa kweli for marriage kwa ajili ya ndoa you will ask me a question una najua unaweza kaniuliza mimi swali what about those people who do not have the holy spirit vipi kuhusu wale watu wasio na roho mtakatifu do they get married je wataweza kuoana they do nasema ndio wanafanya wanaoana but marriage originated from god lakini ndoa ilianzia kwa mungu 
and the first officiant of the first marriage was God himself. Na yule mwasisi wa kwanza wa ndoa alikuwa ni Mungu mwenyewe. And the bride and the uh, bridesmaids. Na wale wa wa, wa, wa bibi harusi wa saidizi wa bibi harusi or the escorts to the bride and the groom. Wale wanaomsindikiza bibi harusi na bwana harusi. It was the angels. Ni malaika. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The ones who were there. Hao ndio walikuepo pale. When God officiated the first marriage. Mungu alivorasimisha ndoa ile ya kwanza. That's why. Hiyo ndio sababu. Marriage outside God. Ndoa nje ya Mungu. It is just problems. Ni matatizo tu. A man Mwanaume can tell you I love you. Anaweza kukuambia anakupenda. After telling you that I love you. Na baada ya kukuambia anakupenda. He doesn't have the Holy Spirit. Hana Roho Mtakatifu. He leaves you. Atakuacha. Go and find another girl. Ataenda kumpata mwanamke mwingine. Even get AIDS from there. Hata apate au kiumi kule and come and give you. Na aje akupatie. But yet that person was telling you that he or she loves you. Lakini huyo mtu alikuwa anakuambia yeye mwanamke au mwanaume anakupenda. Is there love? Je, huo upendo upo hapo? You were right to. You thought I found peace. Kule ambako ulikuwa unakimbilia unawazia kwamba nimepata nitapata amani sasa. I found comfort. Nimepata faraja. When that comfort you will not even actually find it. Na hiyo faraja kiwalisia hujaipata kabisa. You can find a man Unaweza kumpata mwanaume Aliyekuwa anakupatia pipi Anakupatia vitu vidogo Hallelujah Amen I love you Nakupenda I don't sleep Silali If somebody doesn't sleep for two days they will have insomnia Kama mtu halali kwa siku mbili au tatu huyo ana ugonjwa unaitwa insomnia Hallelujah Hallelujah But a person that has been telling you like that lakini mtu ambaye amekuwa akikwambia namna hiyo the one that has come to kill you ndio huyo amekuja kukuua even when you are sick hata kama unapoumwa you are not feeling too well hujisikii vizuri sana if there is something that you want kama kuna kitu fulani unachotaka he needs that ana anahitaji unahitaji hiyo despite your condition hai ni ni ha, haitegemei hali haijalishi hali yako haleluya haleluya so now when you look at those things sasa unapotazama mambo hayo what kind of a person ni aina ya mtu yupi would you want to share your life with um, ni aina ya mtu yupi unataka kushiriki maisha yako pamoja so, naye after having that picture in your mind baada ya kuwa na hiyo picha ni ani mwako definitely ndivyo hasa want to get somebody ungependa kupata mtu fulani that fear the lord ambe anamcha Mungu that will respect you ambe atakuheshimu wewe cherish you atakufurahia hallelujah hallelujah that is the person that you would want to live with huyo ndiye mtu ungependa kuishi pamoja naye so if it is like that kwa kama iko namna hiyo it is not a rush thing si jambo la ku, la haraka let me just get into marriage sio tu la kuingia kuingia tu kwenye ndoa without sitting down bila kuketi chini thinking about kuwazia and getting information proper information na kupata taarifa taarifa sahihi if i was a businessman kama mimi nilikuwa mfanyabiashara i want to do business nataka kufanya biashara and i have some money na na pesa i want to invest money into a business nataka niwekeze pesa kwenye biashara it will be foolish of me itakuwa ni ya kipumbavu kwangu to get millions of money kupata mamilioni ya pesa and invest it into a business na kuweka na kuwekeza kwenye biashara that i don't understand ambao sielewi vizuri i may lose my money naweza nikapoteza pesa zangu but i want to tell you lakini nataka kuwaambia You are more precious. Ninyi ni wathamani sana than all millions that we can uh, uh, count. Kuliko mamilioni tunaweza kuhesabu. 
So which, which now entails us that? Hilo linatuambia sisi kwamba when you as an asset in the sight of God. Wewe ukiwa kama mali mbele ya macho ya Mungu. Oh you au wewe as a son of somebody kama mwana au mtoto wa mtu fulani a daughter of somebody au binti wa mtu fulani you want to give yourself to somebody unataka kujitoa mwenyewe kwa mtu fulani you are supposed to be very very careful unapaswa kujikuwa makini makini sana and that carefulness na huo umakini you have no eyes to see the truth in a person huna macho ya kuona ukweli ndani no ya mtu eyes to see the truthfulness of somebody sina macho ya kuona ukweli wa mtu fulani there is only one that can see that in a person kuna mtu mmoja anaweza kuona hiyo ndani ya huyo mtu and that is god na huyo ni mungu hallelujah hallelujah so if i was to start any relationship kama ninataka kuanza mahusiano yoyote i would rather start a relationship with god first ni bora ningeanza mahusiano na mungu kwanza hallelujah hallelujah let me show you uh, an example in the old testament Acheni niwaonyeshe mfano katika agano la kale. In the Old Testament, katika agano la kale, we have the patriarchs. Tulikuepo na wale wazee mababa. I know, I know that these days people don't like it very much. Na jua kwamba siku hizi watu hawapendi hiyo sana. Uh, the patriarchs. Wale wazee. Let's look at uh, Isaac. Hebu tutazame kwa Isaka. Isaac when it came uh, for him to get married ilipofikia wakati wa yeye kuoa his father baba yake instructed Eliza al, alimwelekeza Eliza Eliza his servant yule mtumishi wake swear before me apa mbele zangu that you will not get a wife for my son from these people around this country hutampatia mtoto wangu mke kutoka kwa hawa watu wanaotuzunguka why kwa nini the people where abram bought a land wa, mahali ambapo ibrahimu alinunua ile ardhi it was the canaanites ilikuwa ni ya wakanani the canaanites wale wa kanani they were the descendants of ham walikuwa ni wazawa wa ham that son yule mtoto yule that so the nakedness of the father aliona uchi wa baba yake and that didn't please god na hilo halikumfurahisha mungu then because am when he came from the boat na kwa sababu ham alipotoka kwenye ile safina god blessed him mungu akambariki the principle of god is that he cannot curse what he has blessed na sheria ya Mungu ni kwamba hawezi kulani kile ambacho ameshabariki. So Ham was braced. Ko Ham alibarikiwa. Now he committed the sin. Ak, na sasa akafanya dhambi. Hence the father being a prophet. Ndipo baba yake akiwa nabii. Could not curse his son. Asingeweza kumlani mwanae. He cursed the grandchild. Lakini akamlani mtoto mjukuu wake. He said cursed be Canaan. Akasema alaniwe Canaan. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So now. Sasa when somebody has a curse. Sasa wakati mtu fulani analaa. I think we were told how a case move. Na na mimi tuliambiwa jinsi gani ambavyo It will just be moving round 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 round. round, round. Inazunguka, inazunguka na kuzunguka. And no one na hakuna mtu want to have a child. Anapenda kuwa na mtoto. And that child be cursed. Na huyo mtoto amelaanika. First of all mara ya kwanza if you are having a, the children wewe unayekuwa na watoto and your children cannot grow properly watoto wako hawezi wakakuwa they cannot vizuri, be okay hawezi kuwa na afya who does go who, 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 who let me say this acha niseme hivi if that thing is happening to somebody kama hilo jambo linatokea kwa mtu fulani who is going to be punished because of that nani atakwenda kuadhibiwa kwa sababu ya hiyo is it you or your children je ni wewe au ni watoto wako the promise is that ahadi ni kwamba you will have children utakuwa na watoto and you shall eat the fruit of your children 
na utakula matunda ya watoto wako and your grandchildren na matunda ya wajukuu wako if you you cannot have those things na sasa kama wewe huwezi kuwa na hayo mambo inamaanisha wewe relationship with god uhusiano wako na Mungu it's not okay god want to punish you hauko vizuri Mungu anataka kukuadhibu are we together je tuko pamoja so Abraham ko Ibrahim didn't want his son hakutaka mtoto wake to get married to something that was cursed au aoe au aone na kitu ambacho kimeraniwa he instructed his son his, his servant akamumwelekeza mtumishi wake go nenda to my people kwa watu wangu and look for a woman na, for my son na unitafutie mwanamke kwa ajili ya mtoto wangu and that is exactly what he did na hicho ndicho hasa alichofanya look at jacob sasa mtazame yakobo jacob when he reached the age yakobo alipofikia umri the mother told jacob mama akamwambia yakobo go to my brother laban nenda kwa kaka yangu laban and get a wife there na upate mke kule so which means now hiyo inamaanisha kwamba today if we want to get married leo kama tunataka kuoana we should get married to our relatives lazima tuoane na ndugu zetu and then how if we become relatives you and me sasa Jis gani tunakuwa ndugu wewe na mimi? When you believe the word of God. Unapoamini neno la Mungu. And you are baptized. Na umebatizwa. And God gives you his spirit. Na Mungu akupe yeye Then roho wake. You have become a son of God. Ndipo umefanyika mwana If wa Mungu. If you are a woman you have become a daughter of God. Kama ni mwanamke umefanyika binti so wa Mungu. So a daughter of God. Ko binti wa Mungu. Should get married to a son of God. Anapaswa au ane na, na mwana wa Mungu. That's why the prophet said. Ndio sababu nabii anasema. At no time kat isiwe kwa wakati wote. Mwaminio. Go out there to a, marry a, 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 a Hollywood girl. Aende kule nje na kuoa binti wa Hollywood. Cuz we have a tendency. Kwa sababu tuna tabia, When we are in church we feel there is no brother tukiwa kanisani tunadhani kwamba hakuna ndugu anayenitoshea oh, there is no sister that fits me here au hakuna dada ambaye ananitoshea au ananifaa then you go out there you marry there ndipo unaenda kule nje na kuoa kule that is fine hilo ni nzuri you marry a nani believer kama ukioa asiamini it shows who you are inaonyesha wewe ni nani you can't tell, tell me show me your wife then i'll tell you who you are nionyeshe mke wako nitakwambia wewe ni nani Because there is no child that can ask I want to breed then is given a snake. No ha, kwa sababu hakuna mtoto anaweza akasema nataka mkate apewe nyoka. Hapana. When you ask bread, unapoomba mkate, God will give you bread. Mungu anakupa mkate. If you are not born again, kama hujazaliwa upya, you will be attracted to somebody that is not born again. Utavutiwa na mtu fulani ambaye hajazaliwa upya. Born again believer, kama ni aliyezaliwa upya, that's why When it comes to marriage, ndio maana inapofikia kwenye ndoa we look for a character in the sister. Tunatazama tabia ndani ya dada and I look for a good character in a brother. Nami natazama tabia njema ndani ya ndugu. Haleluya. Haleluya. That's why I advise young boys and girls. Ndio maana nawashauri vijana wa kiume na wa kike it is important. Ni muhimu sana to get along kuwa kufahamiana kuwa pamoja so that you know people ili kwamba mfahamiane vizuri we are advising you this tunawashauri nyie hivi i've been preaching now for 28 years nimekuwa nikihubiri sasa kwa miaka 28 and i've been in marriage for 27 years na nimekuwa kwenye ndoa miaka 27 Haleluya. Haleluya. So it is not a joke. Kwa hiyo si mzaha. Many many people, watu wengi wengi when it comes to the issue of marriage. Inapokuja swala la ndoa. I've seen people who are married. Nimeona watu walioana where a woman wishes the husband dead. Wakati mwanamke anatazama anata, 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 
anatamani mume afe so that they should get married to another person ili kwamba ao aolewe na mwanaume mwingine because they didn't see properly kwa sababu hawakuona vizuri they thought that the eyes to see walidhani kwamba wana macho ya kuona when they didn't have eyes to see kumbe walikuwa hawana macho ya kuona i've also seen brothers nimeona pia wa ndugu because they followed the beauty kwa sababu waliona uzuri they didn't follow the spirit in a person hawakufuata roho ndani ya huyo mtu They have said I wish I didn't get married to you. Nina sema ninatamani nisingeoana na wewe. And any minute na dakika yoyote a person produces those words. Wakati mtu anatoa hayo maneno you are not married. Hujaoa. There is no marriage there. Hakuna ndoa hapo. Marriage should be Me, ndoa inapaswa kuwa if I died kama nikifa we were given chance to get married again tukapewa nafasi ya kuoana tena i would pick messi to be my wife again nitamchukua messi awe mke wangu tena hallelujah hallelujah i would pick her again ningemchagua tena huyo huyo i would pick nobody else nisingemchagua yoyote yule because she is the one that fits me kwa sababu ndiye anayenitoshea vizuri she is the one that can tolerate me ndiye anaweza kunivumilia and no one else in this world can tolerate me na hakuna yoyote ulimwenguni anaweza kunivumilia hallelujah hallelujah so when you are getting into these issues kwa unapoingia kwenye haya maswala It's very very important. Ni muhimu sana sana to humble yourself. Kujinyenyekeza. Don't look at the face of a man. Ustazame sura ya mtu. Don't look at the face of a woman. Ustazame sura ya mwanamke. Look at the quality of the spirit that is in a man. Tazama katika ule ubora wa roho iliyoko ndani ya huyo mtu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some, you, you know sometimes the sisters They want a man who is driving a Porsche car. Unajua wakati mwingine wadada wanatamani mwanaume ambaye anaendesha gari la Porsche. That's good to have those ambitions. Hayo ni vizuri kuwa na hayo matamanio. But if I were you. Lakini kama ningekuwa wewe. I want a man who doesn't have anything. Nisi ningependa niwe na mwanaume ambaye hana kitu. So that we start together. Ili kwamba tuanze pamoja. After all hata hivyo Adam na Eva did they start in push things they started even their bed was on the grass Adam na Hawa hawakutaka mambo ya poshi hata mtoto wao alikuwa kwenye nyasi kitanda cha nyasi so what takes people to live together it's nothing but love kasa kile ambacho kinahitajika kwa watu kuishi pamoja si lolote lile ni upendo are we together je tuko pamoja So when you see those things my my sister or my brother kuna pona mambo hayo ndugu yangu dada yangu there has to be a promise made now sasa lazima kuwe na ahadi inafanywa you have checked this it is correct you have checked this it is correct you have checked that it is correct umeangalia hili ni sahihi hili ni sahihi na lile ni sahihi then a, a promise is made ndipo sasa ahadi inafanywa one another kwa ajili ya mmoja na mwingine You say sweetheart. Unasema kipenzi. If you marry me. Kama ukinioa. Hallelujah. Au nikikuoa. Oh, oh, oh sweetheart. Oh mpenzi au mpenzi. I feel you are the right person. Nasikia kama wewe ni mtu sahihi. I've seen in this world. Ambaye nimemuona katika ulimwengu huu. And immediately you say that. Na mara tu unaposema hivyo. You are telling that woman. Unamwambia huyo mwanamke she is the most beautiful woman in the world kwamba ye ndiye mwanamke mrembo zaidi ulimwenguni kote na hakuna mwingine tena is more beautiful than that one ni mrembo kuliko huyo is leakage it's leakage that i'm giving you hiyo ni siri ambayo unawapatia imevuja siri i hope they won't hear me those who are here nadhani wale waliokuwa hapa hawatanisikia wale Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some people say, no, he doesn't appreciate me. He doesn't say you are beautiful. You are this. Wengine huo uko waga anasema, "Oh, waga ni furahi, asiniambi kwamba mimi ni mzuri, haniambi hivi." The reason why they do not appreciate sababu ambao wao hawafurahi, they don't know what they were entering into. Hawajui kile walichokuwa wakiendea. 
when you tell when you tell a girl that sister unapomwambia dada kwamba i love you ninakupenda you have told her umemwambia there is no beautiful person here in the world kwamba hakuna mwanamke mzuri mwingine hapa duniani ku nje yako wewe then after telling her like that ndipo baada ya kumwambia yeye namna hiyo ndipo unaanza kuishi pamoja naye you don't acknowledge the beauty that you saw ndipo hutambui ule uzuri uliouona it will begin to affect your friend ndipo itaanza kumathiri yeye haleluya haleluya it will be affecting them ndipo itaanza kwa kwa athiri this is why you see now the sister every time they want to go on the mirror so that they beautify so that you appreciate them ndio maana wakati wote sasa wadada wanataka kwenda mbele ya, ya kio wajifanye warembo wa ili kwamba wafurahiwe so who has started causing the problem in As, the sister sasa nani ameanza kwa tatizo ndani ya dada it is the man ni huyu mwanaume ndiye alianzisha shida ndani ya huyu dada he doesn't appreciate me maybe when i do this i will look beautiful hani furahi labda nikifanya hivi nitaonekana mrembo Hello. 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 And you when you are accepting a man. Na wewe unapomkubali mwanaume. You are saying unasema there is no handsome man here on earth. Hakuna mtanashati mwanaume mtanashati kuliko wewe. Even if he comes is very masculine here. Hata, he lift the weights. Hata kama akija mtu ambaye ni ni, ni mbabe ana bounce when you look you say ah ah amna kitu humo ukiangalia unasema ah amna kitu hapa have a man where is a man ni naye mwanaume is there yuko kule haleluya haleluya and the the, ma, the woman it, it must be the same na, the man it must be the same na kwa mwanamke na kwa mwanaume lazima iwe hivyo and If you begin to have these things in you, sasa ukianza kuwa na haya mambo ndani yako, you will appreciate your wife. Utaanza kumfurahia mke wako. And the wife will appreciate you. Na mke wako atakufurahia wewe. And be lovers indeed. Na mtakuwa wapenzi kweli kweli. Why should somebody be fearing to walk with the wife hand asa, to hand? Sasa kwa nini mtu aogope kutembea na mke wake mkono wameshikana hivi mkono? When you buy a sweet high sweet. Unapochukua ki pipi unamwambia eh chukua hii pipi hiyo njaa. Yes. Let them know. Acha wajue. I am proud of this one. Najivunia huyu hapa. And this hapa. one is confessing I'm proud of him. Na huyu anakiri kwamba namfurahia yeye huyu. But when you begin to show useless things in your life. Lakini unapoanza kuonyesha mambo ya hovyo katika maisha yenu. Person will begin to leave your hand. Ndipo yule mwanamume au mtu ataanza kuachia mkono wako. Get into the head. Ndipo ataanza kuweka kichwani mwake. Did I choose a right thing? Je, nilichagua kitu sahihi kweli? Hallelujah. 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 But you can avoid these things. Lakini nyie mnaweza mkajiepusha na haya mambo. If you are properly taught before you enter into this. Kama mtafundishwa vyema kabla hamjaingia kwenye haya mambo. But the problem we have is the saints. La kwa sababu shida mlionao ni kwamba watakatifu because of education kwa sababu ya 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 helim they feel they know it all wanadhani kwamba wanajua kila kitu facebook wanaweza kaenda facebook google they can find here wanaweza kupata hapa na hapa some they even take themselves to men wengine watajipeleka kwa wanaume you run away from your parents you take yourself to a boy na unakimbia kutoka kwa wazazi wako unajipeleka kwa mwanaume after the boy finishes what he, he needs to finish with you na baada ya yule kijana kumaliza kile alichokuwa anataka kumaliza na wewe you start telling him let's go and see the parents you see if you go and see them ah unaanza kumwambia twende ukaone wazazi utaona kama atakuja kuwaona wazazi because you are a foolish girl kwa sababu wewe ni ni, ni msichana mpumbavu you took yourself to a man and say oh me i'm a free person ulijipeleka kwa mwanaume ukasema ah mimi niko huru mtu huru kabisa we have those challenges as pastors ask these pastors they Tuna, have tunazo hizo changamoto kama wachungaji waulize wachungaji wana hizo changamoto and never you do such a thing sasa msifanye kama jambo la namna hiyo even when a man sasa hata kama mwanaume 
He says he loves you. Anasema anakupenda. Don't become weak. Usiwe dhaifu. We had a testimony from the pastor there. Tumesikia ushuhuda kutoka kwa mchungaji pale. They've loved each other very well. Walijipali pendana vizuri. If you feel you cannot wait kama until una, you are wedded. Kama unasikia kwamba huwezi kusubiri mpaka mmeunganishwa. Come and tell the pastor. Njoo kumwambie mchungaji. The body is burning too much. Sasa mwili una unashauku sana. I can't manage to wait. Unawaka sana, unawaka sana. Siwezi kujizuia nika Just subiri. Just for us in the office there he prays for you. Sasa tuombe hapa ofisini hapa naombea. And like you go into sin. Na ndipo utaenda kuliko muende kwenye dhambi. The reason why we go into marriage. Sasa sababu kwa nini tunakwenda kwenye ndoa? It is to avoid sin. Ni kuepusha dhambi. Now if a relationship. Sasa kama mahusiano begins to take you now in sin. Yanaanza kuwapeleka sasa dhambini. Then I put a very big question mark for that. Sasa naweka swali kubwa kwenye huu hayo mahusiano. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So brothers, kwa hiyo na ndugu it's not out there. Si kule nje. Sisters, Madada, it's not out there. Si kule nje. But it is in the Lord. Ni katika Bwana. Not outside. Si nje. You take yourself outside there. Unajipeleka mwenyewe kule nje. A brother beats you. Na yule ndugu anakupiga. They give you gonorrhea. Anakupa kisonono. Anakupatia kaswende. When you hiki, come here, unapokuja hapa, pastor will not chase you. Mchungaji atakufukuza. Atasema hebu tuombe. But when you are praying, lakini wakati unaomba, did you do a right thing? Ulifanya jambo sahihi? This is why you find that a lot of people have problems that are not ending. Ndio maana ukuta watu wengi wana matatizo ambayo hayaishi. They were advised and they did a contrary thing walishauriwa na wakafanya jambo kinyume instead of doing a right thing badala ya kufanya jambo sahihi so be quick be quick to hear sasa hebu ueni wepesi kusikia but don't act fast kwamba msifanye haraka take your time chukua wakati wako pray about it omba kuliusu When you are proposed it doesn't mean that you are not now married. Unapo, you even change a walk now. Una, unapokuwa umeposwa usidhani kwamba sasa ndio umeolewa hadi unabadilisha ah. mwondoko kabisa. A bride bibi harusi doesn't even take the husband's name no. Ha, hapati hata jina la la mume wake hapana. So when you accept the boy to say oh I accept you. Sasa unapomkubali mwanaume na kusema ah nimekukubali. You don't get married. Bado hujaolewa. You have just made a decision to Umef, marry. Umefanya tu kwamba umefanya uamuzi kwamba nitaolewa. And that is a temporal yes. marriage. Na hiyo ni ndoa ya muda. You take now your the story to your father. Sasa unachukua hiyo habari kwa baba. Daddy, baba. John said he love me. John amesema ananipenda. You want to even hide these things from your father. Unataka hata kuficha mambo kutoka kwa baba yako. Who said your, the mother is the spokesperson for you? Nani alikwambia kwamba mama anaweza kukuuza? Akasema kwa ajili yako au ni msemaji wako? Even before you say yes to a man, you should tell your daddy Johnny proposed me but I haven't said anything. Hata kabla hujasema ndio kwa kwa huyo mwanaume lazima useme baba Johnny aliniambia hivi lakini sijajibu chochote. The challenge that we have in Africa Shida tulizo nazo hapa Afrika. We feel this is a taboo. Tunadhani kwamba hiyo ni mwiko. Do you know that your, ma- your mother doesn't know who a man is? Unajua kwamba uh, mama yako hajui mwanaume ni yukuje. Did you know that? Jeuliwai kujua hivyo? Who knows a man? Nani anamjua mwanaume? Your dad knows who a man is. Da- baba yako anajua mwanaume yukoje. Your mother will tell you something about a woman. Na, mama, she's a woman. Mama, mama yako atakwambia jambo fulani kuhusu mwanamke kwa sababu ni mwanamke. Na baba yako atakwambia kuhusu mwanaume kwa sababu ni mwanaume. So if I were you. Kwa hiyo kama ningekuwa wewe. First of all I tell dad. Jambo la kwanza ningemwambia baba. Dad John is proposing me. Nikasema baba yo John. But I haven't said yes or John no. ana amenipo, ameniposa lakini sijasema ndio au hapana. And when somebody proposes you tell them that I'll tell dad. Na mtu fulani akikwa akikuposa mwambie nitaambia baba let, let them know acha wajue 
It is his responsibility Amen. to know everything about you. Yeye ni majukumu yake kujua kila kitu kuhusu. As long as you are in your father's home there is no secret. Ili mradi tu bado huko nyumbani kwa baba yako hakuna You have to be open to your father. Lazima uwe wazi kwa baba yako. Tell him everything. Mwambie kila kitu. Do you know if there are people who get affected when a daughter is beaten? It's the papa. Unajua kama wale ambao wana wana sikitika sana wakati binti amepigwa ni baba they feel insulted wanajiona kama wametukanwa so a good daughter ko binti mzuri who want to please the father atapenda kumfurahisha baba yake so that as they are walking na, they walk with a neck up like this na no, hata wanapotembea wanatembea na shingo limenyoka namna hivi they are not feeling any shame hawaogopi aibu yoyote aone aibu yoyote if we can do that na kama tunaweza tukafanya hivyo dad you never have bp baba hatakuwa na pressure we are causing a lot of pressures to our parents tunas tunasababisha Uh, pressure nyingi kwa baba zetu and this is why they are dying early ndio maana wanakufa mapema this one gives him this pressure huyu anakuwapatia pressure this one gives him this pressure huyu anampatia pressure hii at the end he feels to contain it ndio maana katika mshwa yake anashindwa kuibeba and then you come you say oh i love dad ndipo anakuja anasema ah nampenda baba nampenda mama is it true they love they love you ni kweli kwamba anakupenda you are killing your parents you are killing your parents unaua wazazi wako So let's avoid those things. Hebu tuwejiepushe na hayo mambo. Even boys, hata wa vijana. You hear this boy impregnated this one. Unasikia huyu kijana amemtia mimba huyu amemtia mimba huyu. Then I'm walking there saying, "Oh, that is the father of that boy who impregnated those girls." Ndipo unatembea unasema yule ni baba wa yule kijana aliwatia mimba wale wa dada watatu. Can you be proud about that? Je, unaweza kujisikia vizuri kuhusu hilo? What is to be proud of here? Hasa hapo utafurahia nini hapo? There's nothing to be proud of. Hamna kitu cha kufurahia hapo. Hallelujah. Kujivunia. Until a ceremony is performed. Ni mpaka harusi imefanyika by the pastor. Kuna mchungaji. Many many people, watu wengi wengi sana, they are in church. Wako kanisani. Their marriage were not wedded by the pastor. And wazao hazijafungwa na mchungaji. That's another teaching. Hiyo ni mafundisho mengine. But let me just quote something from there. Acha ninukuu kitu fulani kutoka pale. Jacob had 12 children. Yakobo alikuwa na watoto 12. Levi, Lawi, when Levi was born, Lawi alipozaliwa, Leah said, Leah alisema, "Now, sasa, that I've given birth." Sasa nimezaa to Levi, kwa nimezaa Lawi, my husband, mume wangu, who have affection for me. Atanipenda. So Levi means love. Lawi anamaanisha upendo. Or you can say bind au kifungo. Or put together. Au wekwe kwa pamoja. And because na kwa sababu when Levi was born that is what it talks about him. Kwa sababu Lawi alipozaliwa hicho ndio kinazungumza kuhusu yeye. When God thought of giving a gift to Levi. Wakati Mungu alipofikiria kumpatia kipawa Lawi. He gave them power aliwapatia nguvu to bind things here on earth kufunga vitu hapa duniani haleluya haleluya when he ties things together alivyounganisha hivi vitu pamoja god accepts it mungu anavikubali haleluya haleluya are we together here je tuko pamoja hapo We don't want our daughters and our boys to make mistakes. Atutaki vijana wetu na binti zetu wafanye makosa. And you don't stay away from your pastors. Na usikae mbali kutoka kwa wachungaji wako. When you reach a level, unapofikia mahali where you would want to choose a boy or to choose a girl. Unapotaka kuchagua kijana au msichana. That's the time to get closer to the pastor. Hiyo ndio wakati wa kuwa karibu sana na mchungaji. So that they guide you. Ili kwamba wakuelekeze wa kuongoze you do not understand the marriage huelewi ndoa they are experienced wow wana uzoefu you are not experienced wewe una uzoefu no matter how you study haijalishi utasoma you will never surpass them hutaweza kuwapita they will always have something to give to you mara zote watakuwa na kitu cha kukupa hallelujah hallelujah i think on this we end there god bless you nafikiri juu ya hili tutaishia hapo mungu awabariki
Okay, our pastors. Wachungaji wetu. They have taught many many things. Wamefundisha mambo mengi mengi sana. And I've spoken the word of God. Nami nimenena neno la Mungu. Not that it is exhaustive. Ili sio kwamba linachosha. We can't finish everything. Hatuwezi kumaliza kila kitu. But I would want to hear from you. Lakini tungependa kusikia kutoka kwenu. When you you hear unaposikia about marriage unaposikia kuhusu ndoa you have a lot of expectations una matarajio mengi but the way you enter into that matters lakini, most lakini jinsi unavyoingia kwenye hiyo ndoa inamaanisha sana i have some papers here hapa nina karatasi hapa. We will not actually read the person who has written here. Hatutasoma mtu ambaye aliandika hapa. You can read this. Mtukasoma hii. And see what the expectation of people and the type of a man that they would want to have. Na tuone matarajio ya watu na aina ya mwanaume wangependa kuwa naye. Hatutasoma hii. Mungu anipe mke bora anayemcha Mungu tutakaye tutakayevumiliana katika kila hali na mzuri wa sura God give me a good wife who who fear God in whom we shall bear one another in every situation and beautifully looking is it okay je hiyo niko iko sawa au mimi saying it is okay wao ngapi wanasema iko sawa only if you wao wachache hapa what about the rest vipi kusi wengine je iko sawa what the sisters read is it yani, okay yani iki iki ambacho kimeandikwa hapa kuhusiana haya matama ya shauku ya huyu ndugu ni sawa are they marrying je wataoana hawa wana wanaendana vina vinaendana kichofundishwa kichofundishwa na hiki na shauku ya huyu ndugu vinaendana okay we go to the next okay let's go to the twendele kwenye lingine Mwenye huyo anaomba Mwenye kum Nafikiri hapa anasema mwenye kumcha Mungu naamini. Sasa mwenye kumcha Mungu anayemjua nabii wa kizazi hiki mwenye kupenda watu asiyekuwa mwaminio wa nia mbili mwenye kujua ujumbe. Meaning in, in English God fearing who knows the prophet of the age okay. who loves people who know who the the believer who doesn't have two two minds and knowing the message to me that's okay kwangu mimi hiyo iko vizuri This is a this is a sister. The, the sister wants somebody who is God fearing. God fearing mm -hmm. knows the prophet of the, the age. Prophet of the age. Loving people. Okay. Uh, a believer who doesn't have two minds. Okay. And knowing knowing the the message. not okay je hii sio vizuri iko nzuri no argument about it hakuna umabishano juu ya hilo iko iko safi this one je hii 
Sasa hivi nahitaji mke mcha Mungu aliyejazwa na Roho Mtakatifu kwangu mimi itanitosha inatosha sana. In English In English I I need a wife who is God fearing who is God fearing and filled with the Holy Ghost to me it will suffice a more it will be it enough, will be enough. Is that not okay? Yeye sio kusawa. We thank God. Tunashukuru Mungu. Mungu naomba unipe mke mwenye kukupendeza wewe awe mrefu, mweusi, <laughs> awe na up- asiwe mkali, awe mrefu, awe mweusi na mwenye upendo kwa ndugu zangu. E Mungu naomba nisaidie. Amen. Okay. Uh, in, in English. English. Yes. God, I need a wife uh-huh. who who pleases you. Uh-huh. Not too harsh, not cruel, like not too harsh. Uh-huh. Tall, black, loving, uh, having uh, loving my relatives. Oh God, help me. So the sisters that are to here there is market this side. <laughs> you haven't interpreted. The sisters who are to here. Ah, uh, there wa- is market here. Wale wadada ambao ni wa refu hapa sasa kuna soko hapa. This is this is the this is the brother. Ni ni ndugu anataka mke. Mke. Eh. Aha. Last last. Mke ninayemuomba nataka nipewe mwenye sifa hii awe na roho mtakatifu awe mama bora kwa watoto wangu. Okay. In English yeah. the wife that I'm, I would ask would mm. uh, should have these characters mm-hmm. first have the holy spirit okay uh be ready to serve god at any time okay be a good mother to my children that's also fine yeah. okay we are done with that tumemaliza hapo here hiyo ni nzuri tumemaliza hao wapo wengine hapa Ninamuomba Mungu msichana anayempenda Yesu awe mkalimu kwa watu wote pia awe msikivu mchapakazi na heshima I, will, I ask God a girl who loves Jesus be kind to all people be uh, be hard working be attentive be ha- hard working and respectful ah hii huu ni dada nahitaji mwanaume wa one awe na roho wa Mungu mabano mwaminio awe na upendo kwenye shida na raha awe anasikiliza mahitaji ya familia in english i need a man like having the holy ghost in brackets a believer having love uh, in 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 sorrow and joy and be listening to the needs of the family Naomba Mungu anipatie mwanamume aliyejazwa na Roho Mtakatifu awe na heshima kwa watu wote awe na kipato I ask God to give me a man who is filled with the Holy Ghost having, uh, having respect to all people with having income earning income Amina 
Mungu awabariki. Mimi naomba Mungu anijalie nipatie mume kwanza aliyejazwa na Roho Mtakatifu pia awe na neno la Kristo maishani mwake yani aliishi neno na jua nikimpata huyo ataniongoza katika njia ya Bwana hiyo ndiyo njia pekee ni, ninayopenda ku e, kutenda kwenda nayo amen so, god bless you for me i ask god to grant me a husband first filled with the holy ghost also having the uh, the the word of christ in his life meaning living the word i know if i get that will lead me in the way of the lord that is the only way i would like i like to go with amen shalom ombi langu kwa bwana naomba anipe mume mwenye roho mtakatifu Shalom my prayer is that God sh Lord should give me a husband filled with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. At least we have no challenges with this. Do we have challenges? <laughs> Kwa uchache hatuna matatizo na hii. Je, tuna matatizo hapa? We don't have any problem. Hatuna shida, si ndio? Okay. God bless you. Mungu awabariki. From there. Kuanzia hapo. We we'll throw to the audience now. Tutarudisha sasa kwenye any question. Kwenye kwenye hadhara. Swali lolote ulilonalo that we we can discuss. Ambao tunaweza tukalijadili. This is the question. Okay. Ni question. Nimechu ikiwa nimechumbiwa na ndugu aliyejazwa na Roho Mtakatifu, ikiwa amefika kwa mchungaji na jambo fulani hilo la uchumba liko serious je ni, ni vizuri yeye kunipa sifa sifa kabla hajanioa yani kunipa sifa za uzuri wangu kuniita majina mazuri kama mchumba wake okay in english should i okay in english if I've been exposed to a brother filled with the Holy Ghost and if the matter has reached to the pastor and it is something that is serious, is it right for him to start calling me some good names, beautiful names, meaning describing my beauty and calling me some good names as his fiancé? kiukweli jibu ni hapana the reason sababu he has not yet started hawajaanza bado he must first see the parents anapaswa kwanza awaone wazazi he has to do something to the parents wafanye jambo fulani kwa wazazi then he has the right now ndipo atakuwa na haki to call you all those names. Aku ya ya hayo yote. If he is calling you such names, kama anakuita hayo majina, you be weak to that man. Utakuwa dhaifu kwa huyo mtu. You know ladies want to be praised. Unajua wadada wanapendwa kusifiwa. If you praise a woman, kama ukimsifia mwanamke, you are spoiling a lady unam halibu mwanamke okay they have said it's now questions wamesema ni maswali sasa i don't want questions holy holy questions sitaki ma, maswali yale matakatifu matakatifu marriage it's not holy ndoa sio takatifu takatifu marriage is flesh ndoa ni mwili You are not holy. Nyie siyo watakatifu. He is not holy. Mwili siyo mtakatifu. No, I want a holy man. Nataka mtakatifu. In other ways you are saying a man who can have money. 
kwa maneno mengine nataka mtu ambaye ana pesa so i want now questions which are affecting you nataka ile maswali ambayo yamekuathiri men wanaume questions maswali which can solve your problems ambayo yanaweza kusolve matatizo ya kwa nini hatuoi why have you at, at, as at now you have not seen any sister here kwa nini mpaka sasa hivi hujaona dada yote hapa? Shida yako ni nini? Go direct to the point. Nenda kwenye point moja kwa moja. Hakusio Roho Mtakatifu. Roho Mtakatifu sio wa kushikika. Yeah. Ndio. I'm your friend now. Sasa mimi nafikiri yenu sasa. A young boy. Sasa <laughs> Let's talk things. Hebu tuanze kuongea mambo like children children kama watoto watoto hivi forget that these are there Sa, sauni kwamba haya yako huku talk to me ongeeni kama hakuna mimbala huku hakuna nini eh? talk Hawa to me wapo hebu ni ongeeni na mimi okay mke ni nani kibiblia who is a woman who is a wife in uh, in Bibli- the bible terms biblically oh by biblically who is a wife okay Je, okay. mwanamume anaweza kumuoa mwanamke aliyemzidi umri? A man can marry a woman who is older than him? Umri mzuri wa kuoa ni upi? What is the good age to get married? Kwa nini nioe? Why should I get Au married? Oh, why should I get married in general? Kwa mabano, mabano akasema bracket nini kusudi la kuoa au kuolewa what is the purpose of marrying or giving given in marriage dada yupo tayari tuachane kwa sababu sina pesa ya kufanyia sherehe au shughuli je ndoa au harusi na sherehe vina uhusiano gani a sister is ready that we should part one another because i don't have money for for wedding for the wedding ceremony so this is the question marriage and the marriage ceremony what is the relationship between those things thank you good now you are coming sasa tunasogea vema holy spirit holy roho mtakatifu they need money for the wedding wanataka kuoa kwa ajili ya holy spirit wanataka kuoa kwa ajili ya harusi hakuna roho mtakatifu hapa Okay. Sasa eh, marriage ndoa and the celebration na sherehe there are two different things. Ni vitu viwili tofauti. If you are you have a wedding kama unayo arusi if you have married a devil na umeoa ibilisi it won't change that devil haitambadilisha huyo ibilisi is going to remain a devil itabaki kuwa ni ibilisi so a wedding kwa hiyo is a celebration ni sherehe tu if we have ana, money and resources harusi ni sherehe kama tuna pesa na na rasilimali but it's not going to change how you are going to live with that man lakini haitabadilisha vile unakwenda kuishi na huyo mwanaume because we had the celebration kwa sababu eti kwa sababu tulifanya harusi there will be smiling in the home tutakuwa tuna eti kwa sababu tulifanya ndoa tukifanya harusi tutakuwa tuna tabasamu nyumbani hapana and it add no color to your marriage na haita ongeza rangi yoyote kwenye ndoa yako only you have just a plus that i i i, I had a wedding una ziada tu kwamba nilifanya harusi you, you, you be laughing at some who did not have wedding ndokuwa namcheka yule ambaye hakufanya harusi but you you can find that you can have problems lakini unaweza kujikuta una shida and you cannot have problems na yule mwingine ana shida so marriage like kwa hiyo ndoa it's not about celebration haihusiani na sherehe i don't think the pastor 
talked about if you want to marry a look for a celebration. Sidhani kama mchungaji amezungumza hapa kwamba kama unataka kuoa tafuta fanya ndoa sherehe. That's the problem with ladies. Hiyo ndio shida ya wadada. That's why you are getting old. Ndio maana una mnazeeka. You want someone who has money. Mnataka mtu mwenye pesa. Ask your papa. Uliza baba yako. How did they get married to your mama? Waliwoanaje na mama yako? They were sleeping at the floor. Walikuwa wanalala kwenye sakafu. Amen. I want a Porsche car. Wewe unataka gari la Porsche? Who told you that your papa had a Porsche car? Nani alikwambia baba yako alikuwa na gari la Porsche la kumnunulia mama? Wakati amemwoa. Je, wewe haujasoma? You are umesoma And if this time they can tell you that when we were getting married Kama sasa hivi kuambia kwamba tulipokuwa tunaoana nothing tulikuwa tuna chochote Unaweza kukataa Get lost Nasema hebu ondokeni hapa Marriage it's not about having money Ndoa si kuwa na pesa You make a lot of mistakes. Unafanya makosa mengi. You look for something which is not going to sustain you. Hau unatazamia kitu ambacho hakitakusaidia. Look for a man who can love you. Tazamia mwanaume ambe atakupenda. That's so. Hiyo tu natosha. Only a man can love I, mtu mwanaume tu ambaye anaweza kukupenda my brother ndugu yangu don't look at the face usitazame sura i tell you nawaambia don't look at the face usitazame sura look at the heart tazama moyo you cry utalia Amen. you backslide utarudi nyuma no i want a beautiful lady eh hey, nataka mdada mzuri mrefu kidogo mnene kidogo you have problems i tell una shida nakwambia hatuoi uzurembo tunaoa tabia so the brother kwa hiyo ndugu they said that it's about now to to be over kwamba wanaacha wanataka kuachana because of uh, the man has no money kwa sababu mtu ana pesa mwanaume ana pesa you are in problem my friend wewe uko kwenye shida ndugu go and see your pastor kamuone mchungaji i don't think that's the right choice na sidhani kama hiyo ni uamuzi mzuri una una matatizo hapa you sweat for it uta <laughs> utasumbuka nayo go back to your pastor rudi kwa mchungaji wako that's my advice huo ni ushauri wangu rudi kwa mchungaji mchungaji atakushauri kisahihi lakini nakwambia hii there are some other acha niongeze jambo fulani I think when I was making a presentation here I said Nipokuwa nawakilisha hapa niisema when you agree with the sister that I want to marry you and she accept Unapokubaliana na mwanamke kwamba nataka kukuoa wewe na akakubali I said that is a temporal uh, uh, vow Nilisema hicho ni kiapo cha muda From there if it goes to the parents and the parents says yes. Na kutoka hapo ikienda kwa wazazi na wazazi wakasema ndio. That vow it's permanent. Hicho kiapo kimedumu. There is no pastor. Hakuna mchungaji. There is no magistrate court. Hakuna hakimu that will nullify that. Ambe anaweza akatengua hiyo. You are in for it. Wewe tayari umeingia ndani humo. Even if you go to the pastor you are wasting your time. Hata kama ukienda kwa mchungaji unapoteza muda. When you go to the pastor you should tell him that we want to escalate from this level we go to the next level. Na mchungaji ukienda kwa mchungaji atakwambia tunataka kuendelea kutoka kwenye hatua hii kwenda kwenye hatua inayofuata. The only one who has a right to nullify your vow. 
mtu pekee aliye na haki ya kutengua kiapo chako it's your parent when you tell them they say we don't want this man ni wazazi wako wakati tukapoambia waseme hatutaki huyo mtu at that point it can end katika wakati huo inawezeka so for this one kwa kwa huyu hapa in a relationship ambaye amekuwa katika uhusiano and the pastor knows about it na mchungaji anajua agree the parents accept for them to reach to the pastor level na wakakubaliana na, na wazazi kwamba wa, wa, wa na, na, na wazazi na mchungaji kwamba wafikie katua hii there is no reversing hakuna kurudi nyuma if you reverse kama ukirudi nyuma it is in your mind itakani yani mwako according to william branham kulingana william branham that is your wife huyo ni mke wako hallelujah hallelujah so you don't go to the pastor to trouble them for kwa siende kwa mchungaji kumsumbua you go and tell them that we are going forward muende kwaambie kwamba tunaendelea mbele you wait or they pray for you in the room so that you go and start your life una utaanza utakaa pale wakuombe kule kwenye chumba ili kwamba uweze kuanza maisha they are saying no chance kwa anasema hamna nafasi tena you have chosen already umeshachagua tayari it's okay now imeisha sasa go forward with your problems endelea na maisha zako The first one is who is a wife biblically? Who is a wife biblically? Ah, uh, we have talked that. Okay. Uh-huh. Shall a man is a man able to marry a a woman who is older than him? Okay. Uh, marry it's up to you. Ndoa ni juu yako. If you marry this sister here, kama ukiwa dada huyu hapa, don't expect that she should be like this in your marriage. Usidhani kwamba atakuwa kama huyu alivyo kwenye ndoa. She can come, become like this one. U, anaweza akawa kama huyu. Nene yani au au mkubwa so if you are marrying the body kama unaoa mwili don't forget that she will change she will become usisahau kwamba atabadilika atakuwa kama huyo kama naoa mwili so the age ko umri it's up to you ni juu yako it's 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 not you na sio wewe or it's not other people who want to get married si watu wengine ambao wanataka kuoana it's your choice ni uchaguzi wako now if you choose a wife kama ukichagua mwanamke the pastor has told us that it's for reva mchungaji anatuambia kwamba ni milele there is no contracts in our marriages hakuna mikataba kwenye ndoa zetu au marry this one nitaoa huyu if she changes kama akibadilika then i'll marry this one ndipo nitaoa huyu no hapana you die with this one utakufa na huyu if she's a problem kama ni shida you die with your problem utakufa na shida yako so if you want someone who is over years 5 6 kama unataka mtu aliyekuzidi miaka mitano sita hamna shida but if she grow up fast kama kiwai kukua kaka sana don't start saying you are my mother usianze kumuita wewe ni mama ah, mama ah, yangu hapana ah, ah. is the one whom you chose ni, ni wewe ndio ulichagua it, it is your choice ni uchaguzi wako We have no problem. Hatuna shida. If you want to marry you are 30, you want to marry somebody who is 40. Kama wewe ni una 30, miaka 30 anataka kuoa miaka 40. Bless you. Mchungaji atawabariki. You have heard he has said there is no resignation letter. Ali amesema kwamba hakuna barua ya kujiuzuru. There is no I made a mistake. Hakuna eh nilifanya makosa. I made a mistake it's when you are here. Ni unapokuwa unafanya makosa ni wakati uko hapa. Hapa uko mwenyewe hapa. 
if you just step one step going this side ukivuka tu moja ukaenda upande huu game of no return ni mchezo wa bila kurudi kwa kutokurudi and if you say i'm going to divorce my wife na kama ukisema naenda kumtaliki mke wangu pray for you tunakwenda kukuombea so that the devil can bless you ili kwamba shetani aweze kukubariki <laughs> because you have the attitude you brothers kwa sababu nye wa ndugu mna mtazamo fulani kwamba siku mbili niko na huyu mwanamke hapa kwa pastor oswat If you want to divorce her, kama unataka kumwacha, change the church. Unabadilisha kanisa. You go to another pastor. Unaenda kwa mchungaji mwingine huko. The pastor who said this also ni, ni mchungaji alisema hivi na hivi na hivi na hivi. So that's why I married that lady. Ndio maana niliyoa yule mwanamke. I want to change. Sasa nataka kubadilisha. I love my pastor. Naamini wewe ni mchungaji wangu. Nakupenda. And the other pastor supports you. Na yule mchungaji mwingine ah, no anataka mkono. Hamna shida. If you say it's not you who chose da. Ukamu ukisema kama wewe ndio uliyemchagua. Hamna shida pale. You can come. Unazukaja. There is nothing like that. Hakuna kitu kama hicho. If you sleep with a woman, kama ukilala mwanamke, you have become one body. Yeah. Umekuwa mwili mmoja. If you see a nakedness kama ukiona uchi wake you have become one body mmekuwa mwili mmoja at if you kiss her na kama ukimbusu at you have become one body mmekuwa mwili mmoja how many have you kissed umekisi wangapi how many have they kissed you wangapi wamekubusu So some of us we have 10 bodies here. Wengine watatu wetu tuna mili 10 hapa. Because we kiss mwa mwa. Kwa sababu tumebuzu hapa mwa mwa mwa. Je, ni sahi mwanamke kumwambia mwana ni sahi mwanaume kumwambia mwanamke aache kazi ili hali ya kipato cha mwanaume huyo ili hali kipato cha mwanaume huyo hakikizi mahitaji katika familia is it right for a man to tell a woman not to work at the same time their income is not uh, enough for the family these are, these are are married people already you don't have families here how can you ask someone something hatuna familia hapa mnaulizaje hapa maswali you have families you you tayari <laughs> Okay the next question aha swali lingine je mchumba ni halali kukuhudumia na maanisha mahitaji ya kimaisha kabla ya ndoa anaweza kukupa mahitaji is it good or is it acceptable for a fiance to give you your needs to supply your needs before marriage, before marriage. is it right for, for that Women like good things. Women like good things. Wanawake wanapenda vitu vizuri. Even though she's asking, hata hivyo anauliza, she's interested in that. Ana anapenda anavutiwa na mshiko. <laughs> she she want us to say yes. Anataka sisi tuseme ndiyo. <laughs> so that she can go and tell the man that you see. Um, ili aweze kwenda kumwambia mwanaume sasa unaona? You must take care of me. Lazima unijali. Umeona? Yeah, it's good. Ndiyo ni vizuri. You see smiling. Unaona wana tabasamu? Yeah, you see the smiles na. Unaona hizo wana tabasamu eh? I told you. Niliwaambia that you are in problems. Mko katika shida. But 
like, to some extent lakini kwa umbali fulani you must be very very careful with our brothers lazima muwe makini sana sana na ndugu zetu our brothers are crafty wa, wa, wa ndugu zetu ni werevu ni wajanja when they are supporting you wanapokuhudumia don't think they are supporting anything usidhani kwamba wanasaidia hivi interested in your body wanashaushika na mwili wako so if you see just a brother getting closer to you ukiona tu ndugu anakukaribia sana hata kama ni mchumba wako nenda kamwambie mchungaji that the brother started the, uh, touching me here kwamba ndugu ameanza kunigusa hapa yeah because if you if if he has given you something you are coming from shopping umetoa kununua vitu kuemea and then you are walking nipo mnatembea if he extend his hand here kama akiongeza akinyesha mkono wake mpaka hapa because of the shoppings kwa sababu ya yale mahemezi you are not going to refuse utakwenda kukataa yes ndio you think ah, if i refuse unaweza kadhani ah kama nikikataa it's not going to take me again hata kwenda kuniita tena mimi kuni kuniona au usisahau it will start here itaanza hapa it will go this side itaenda hapa chini kidogo there are times you tell you kiss me here siku nyingine atakwambia hebu ni chumu hapa that's so here up 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 and run na ukimbie here hapa hapa run taf nenda siku nyingine these guys are craft au wao watu ni wajanja aha they look decent wanaonekana wema they are not good men oh hao si watu wazuri eh they can damage you wanaweza kawaharibia <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah. and that is nothing like they, they have the holy spirit amna kitu kama kwamba wana roho mtakatifu You know if this man pregnanted someone kama huyu mtu alimtia mimba dada fulani he will be free kwamba wewe utakuwa huru you will be walking like this utakuwa unatembea namna hii but with you lakini na wewe utakuwa unatembea hivi and it will be shame on you na itakuwa aibu kwako and to lose your virginity you have lost your wealth na kupoteza ubikira wako umepoteza utajiri wako au thamani yako no longer a woman wewe si mwanamke why the pastor is charging or the father is charging wakati baba ana ana toza mahali it's not about the body si mwili it's not about the education si elimu no sir hapana about your virginity ni kuhusu ubikira wako so if you're not a virgin Ko, kama wewe si bikira you make him steal the money unafanya pesa iwe ndogo unaiba fedha za ya watu because he's going to charge this one kwa sababu atakwenda kumtoza kum, huyu give us so much tupatie kiasi kadhaa because she is a virgin kwa sababu huyu ni bikira anoni gozo na anapenda nyumbani you find nothing anakuta mna kitu and you just say yeah na utasema ee fifth seen the message wamenibia hapa kwenye ujumbe hapa and they were, when they are asking you na wanapokuuliza wewe Are you uko 
You must just say no. It a bit you say me a pan na. I'm not. Me me see yo. See yo bikira. So that the father can't be a thief. Iri kwamba baba asiwe mwizi. And you must tell the husband. Na umambi ya yule mwana ume mume wako. If you can accept me. Kama utani kubali mimi. I'm not a virgin. Mimi si bikira. I was with a boyfriend John. Nilikuwa na na boyfriend wangu John. Ni njoka. Ni njoka. Ni ni nyoka kabisa. Don't pretend. Usi igize. You are, you want to go to heaven. Hutakwenda mbinguni. And you make your father not go to heaven. Utafanya baba yako asiende mbinguni. So you must confess. Ko, lazima ukiri. If he's going to leave you, let him leave you. Kama atakwenda kukuacha, akuache. That was your choice. Hiyo ulikuwa hiyo ilikuwa ni uchaguzi wako to allow a man to touch you. Ukauguruhusu mwanaume akuguse. No one said go. Hakuna mtu alisema nenda. It was your decision. Wewe mwenyewe ulifanya uamuzi. And I can tell you that process is too long. Na naweza nikakwambia huo mchakato ni mrefu. I, I can't agree that it was a mistake. Siwezi kukubali kwamba ilikuwa ni kosa. No. Hapana. It is not a mistake. Sio kosa. It's something that you have a full knowledge of it. Uli ni jambo ambalo ulikuwa unalifahamu vizuri. Someone calling you. Mtu alikuwa anakuita. Let's go. Twende. To see a certain friend of mine. Twende kaone rafiki yangu wa kwa rafiki yangu. And you follow. Na ukaenda. Tu. Wawili. You have heard to a friend of mine. Na umeenda kwenye rafiki wa kwake. What do you think? Unategemea nini? He has a house. Ana nyumba. And in that house, na kwenye hiyo nyumba, there is no wife. Hakuna mke. There are monsters. Kuna majitu tu mle. Amen. No, he respects me. Au oh, hapana ananiheshimu. They don't respect. Hakuheshimu. Look at them. Look. look, look. Faces your, your faces. Waangalieni, waangalieni, waangalieni. Faces your faces there. Eh aya, can you see them? Waangalieni hawa watu hao. Ah, you are shy. Face this game. No, msio ni aibu. Waangalie, waangalie. Ah, ni waovu watali. They will damage you. What they will do? And they will go. Na wataondoka. And they will look for a virgin. Na wataenda kumtafuta bikira. These guys are problems. Haya watu ni shida. Stay away. Kaa mbali. If you are just as touching you. Kama ameanza kugusa gusa. Tell the pastor. Mwambie mchungaji. Johnny. Johnny has no respect. Ana heshima. He has start, started touching. Ameanza kunigusa. The pastor is going to go in. Mchungaji atenda kumuita. And he's going to pray for him. Na atenda kumwombea so that the, that spirit can go out. Ili hiyo roho iondoke. If he can't wait, kama hawezi kusubiri, we have heard from the pastor. Tumesikia kushukuta kwa mchungaji that you must you must come to the office. Itabidi mje kwenye ofisi. They bless you. Wa wa bariki muondoke. Muende nyumbani. Why should do it? the other one asked that he, why marry? Yule mwingine aliuliza kwamba kwa nini hao? Okay, now answer that. Nani anaanza kujibu hiyo? Why we marry? Kwa nini unaoa? Kwa nini unaolewa? Oh there is no one. Hakuna mtu. You all don't know why you are married. Nyote amjui kwa nini mnaoa na nyote. Because of because of this body ni kwa sababu ya huu mwili huu mwili huu this body huu mwili wants a woman unataka mwanamke 
this body huu mwili huu not the holy spirit sio roho mtakatifu this body huu mwili so if you want to stay pure in the message kama nataka kukaa safi kwenye ujumbe i must marry nitabidi niowe to avoid fornication ili kuzuia uasherati and don't pretend zina na si igizi hao watu they are not marrying you for anything hao wao kwa ajili ya kitu kingine because of your body ni kwa sababu ya mwili wako Don't marry a spirit. Then I love your sister. Unakuja wako pale wako tunasema nakupenda dada. You just love my body. Mwambie hapana unapenda mwili wangu tu wewe. Okay, another question. Ah, swali lingine. My interpreter is asking a question. Okay, um there's this situation where uh a brother and a sister may stay long in a relationship maybe for three years or six or five years. Is that correct or how long should a relationship be there before marriage? Kuna swali kwamba ndugu na dada wanakuwa kwenye uhusiano kwa muda mrefu. Je ni muda gani watu wanatakiwa kuwa kwenye uhusiano kabla ya kuoana si ndio? Okay. Ah. How long? Yeah. How long? Six years. Like as it, not exactly six years but Five years. sometimes people can take long. I don't Wakati mwingine watu wanakuwa kwenye uhusiano kwa miaka mitatu mpaka sita wapo tu kwenye uchumba. Uchumba sugu unaitwa Okay. Sisters, how long can you want uh, someone to engage you? Wadada mnataka muda gani mpaka mtu mtu fulani akuchumbie muda gani? Oh, to gani. stay in your okay, in your relationship. Okay, how many years could you want? Okay, okay katika mahusiano, nataka miaka mingapi? Are good. You are my friend. Six months. Nasema miezi sita yeah 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 uh, the, the longer it becomes ure umbali na vizidi kwenda the more you fall into temptations ndio ndivyo mnazidi kuingia kwenye majaribu zaidi i've seen so many relationships nimeona mahusiano mengi sana in the church kanisani not outside sio nje in the church kanisani 5 years miaka mitano and they will lie to you na watakudanganya that we have no at whatsoever touched each other wana watasema hatujawahi kugusana moja kwa mwingine after some time na baada ya muda they will come back to you watakuja kwako pastor kunambia pastor we lie tulitanganya reason sababu a man and a woman mwanamke na mwanaume just to be together kuwa tu pamoja for a long time kwa muda mrefu they will have no story to tell hawana habari ya kuongelea they will just start looking at each other wataanza kuangalia na mmoja kwa mwingine Okay. So, kwa hiyo I can advise you. Naweza nikawashauri men oen before you get into a relationship. Kabla hamjafikia kwenye uhusiano. Spend more time to prepare. Anzeni kwanza tumieni muda mwingi sana kujiandaa. Engage someone. Kama ukimchumbia fulani, make it a short period of time. Ifanye fupi is good for you ni vizuri kwako itakufaidia wewe and it will be something which will profit you ni jambo fulani litakalo kupatia faida ladies wadada 
Mabinti. It just starts sleeping with you. Ataanza tu kulala na wewe. When you ask about marriage. Utakapo uliza kuhusiana? He is going to tell you next year. At utakapo uliza kuuliza kuhusu ndio atakwenda kuambia mwaka ujao. Kwa sababu ana anafurahia matunda. I will tell you next year December. Atakwambia mwaka ujao December. December comes. December inakuja. Next year December. Atakwambia mwaka ujao December. Because he's enjoying the fruit. Sababu anafurahia matunda. So, kwa hiyo report him to the pastor. Ko mreport kwa pastor. This guy has bad things want to do to me. Huyu mtu ana mambo mabaya anataka kunifanyia. Tell him to marry me. Mwambie anioe so that he can enjoy the fruit. Ili kwamba afurahie matunda. Period. Kinukta. Okay, yeah, this question came from someone. I uh-huh. think it's very important. Uh-huh. The question says, if we marry because of the flesh, Why shouldn't I look for a beautiful lady so that I can satisfy my flesh? Vibrant. You, you can uh, say it in Swahili. Okay, let me Ka- say it in Swahili as well. Swahili nilisema hivi, kama ninaoa kwa ajili ya mwili, si ndio? Ni kwa nini nisitafute binti mzuri, mrembo ambaye atau atau ridhisha mwili wangu? Ataridhisha mwili wangu. So you are telling me these ladies are kwa hiyo unaniambia watu wao wao binti sio this lady is a beautiful sio hadi wazuri are you you are you blind je nyie ni ni vipofu au you you must be serious these ladies are evil hebu kweni kweni mnamaanisha hao dada ni wazuri hao maybe you fear them look at them hebu msiogope hebu watazameni hapa i tell you first look them oh kwanza Yes. Hebu geuzeni vitu vyenu muangalie huku. And point one is not beautiful here. Na mseme nani ambaye sio mrembo hapa. All are beautiful. Wote ni warembo. God fearing. Wa, Wanaomcha Mungu. But you guys eh? <laughs> Kini you jokers. Nyie mnatania eh? You're not serious. Yeah, I'm going serious kabisa. These are beautiful women. Hani wanawake warembo. Let's go you go outside. Ndio maana mnaendaga kule. Go and look for a Jezebel. Mnaenda kumtafuta Jezebeli. And you leave these beautiful women. Na mnaacha hawa dada warembo hawa. These are beautiful. Hawa ni warembo. If you think of any beautiful woman outside. Kama unawazia mwanamke mrembo nje. She is a devil. Ni ibilisi. I want to tell you again she is a devil. Na nataka nikwambie tena ni ibilisi. These are angels. Hawa ni malaika. That's why you are taking long to marry. I see now. Ndio mrefu kuoa. When you look Ndiyo at all sababu. these beautiful women. Kwa mna kutazama watu watu wazuri hawa warembo. Don't see any beauty. Aoni uzuri wote hapa. Be careful. Hebu kuwa ni makini huko. You see beauty outside. Utaona urembo kule nje. These are beautiful women. Hawa ni wanawake warembo. Praise God. Ah, uh, why we don't marry from outside? Kwa nini hatuwai kule nje? Those are children of a devil. Wale ni watoto wa ibilisi. They are the children of Cain. Ni watoto wa Cain. Here, hapa we don't have children of Cain. Hatuna watoto wa Cain. God bless. Men be serious, brothers. Wa ndugu, be serious. Hebu weni makini bwana. Jambo la uchumba linatakiwa kwanza kwa walengwa kwanza ndio liende kwa wazazi au kwa wachungaji ndio liende kwa wazazi au hatua ni zipi the first question the issue of uh, courtship does it concern the people first before going to the parents or should it go to the pastors first then to the parents That's the first question. Oh what are the steps? Oh which should be the steps to the parents first or to the pastors first? Okay. Then the second question. Second question. 
Who is the biblical husband? Husband. Mume wa kibiblia ni nani? Okay. Okay, sala tatu. Je, mwanamume anatakiwa kuwa bikira au ni mwanamke tu peke yake? This is a, also a good question. Makofi tafadhali, makofi. Okay, should 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 also a man be a virgin or is it a woman alone that should be a virgin? Amen. Yeah. Swali zuri sana. Okay, another question. Ah, swali la nne. Je, hilo swali la kumuuliza dada kuwa ni bikra linatakiwa kuulizwa wakati wa uchumba au mkisha panga ndoa there is fourth question this question to ask a sister whether she is a virgin or not is it to be asked at which stage during courtship or at the time of marriage oh, at time of when you are about deciding. to we are about to proceed to marriage or at you are the time that to marry when you are making decision whether to right. proceed with the courtship or not the first the first question goes to the pastor pastor malasha so la kwanza litakwenda kwa ndugu malasha because the one who presented the kwa, first kwa sababu yeye ndiye alitoa hiyo ya kwanza alitoa alihubi uh, in my preaching i gave two two things katika kuhubiri kwangu nilikuwa na mambo mawili i talked about a brother approaches you i said you go and tell your parents is it not what i said nilisema kwamba ndugu akikujia wewe nenda kaambie wazazi ndivyo nilivyosema if the, is that not what i said je hicho hilo ndio sio nilosema that's what i said hicho ndio nilisema i said be friends with your dad and your nilisema uwe rafiki wa baba yako so if somebody approaches you you tell them if they say yes The next step is go to the pastor. Ka, nen, kwanza waambie wa, 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 wazazi wako kama akisema sawa nenda kwa mchungaji. The other example I gave I know you didn't get me. I said who looked for Isaac the wife. Ase, mfano mwingine nilisema najua mkulipata nani alimtafutia Isaka mke. The father. Baba. Is it not so? Je, yes, sio hivyo? So that is number two. Hiyo ni namba 2. Number 3. Na namba 3. You you can go to the pastor. Wewe unaweza kaenda kwa mchungaji. Pastor, I want a, a woman. Mchungaji nataka mwanamke. The pastor knows the sisters in the church. Mchungaji anajua dada kanisani. And you tell him the type of a woman that you want. Na utamwambia hata utamwambia aina ya mwanamke anataka. If you want anataka. a virgin you will say it. Kama una kama unataka mbikira utasema. I want a virgin. You, of course ask you. Are you also a virgin? Na wewe na wewe muulize. Muulize pia kama wewe pia ni bikira. So you don't be asking for a virgin that you do not have. Unaweza kai ukaenda kuuliza ubikira ambao wewe mwenyewe hauna. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then you are divine ndipo mtashauriana this is why when we are ndio ndio sababu wakati nahubiri nilisema repentance utkutubu you go to your pastor you tell him everything unaenda kwa mchungaji na kumwambia kila kitu when you were like this hata ulipokuwa hivi mdogo if the uncle was using you tell him kama yule mjomba alikuwa anakutumia useme cousin used you tell him kama yule cousin mpwa alikuwa anakutumia mseme kila kitu ulichokifanya kwenye maisha yako mchungaji anapaswa kujua and now you understand why he should know sasa unaelewa kwa nini anapaswa kujua as if a brother comes direct to you and kama ndugu akija moja kwa moja kwako na kaanza kukudanganya ndipo utamwambia ndugu mimi sina ubikira You think it will be only him that you know that you do not have a virgin. Una, Unafikiri yeye peke yake atakuwa anajua kwamba wewe una ubikira? It will be a burning bush now. Itakuwa sasa ni kichaka kinawaka moto. He will share it with another person. Ataanza kuambia mwingine. So let things be done in order. Hebu acha mambo yafanye kwenye utaratibu. Otherwise you mess up yourself. Labda utaona zikajichanganya mwenyewe. So let's follow. They are very important these men that you. Unaona ah watu ni wa muhimu sana hawa. You may not respect them pastors. Unaweza usiwaheshimu hawa wachungaji. Lakini wanatunza siri zote. Declare everything in your life. Sema kila kitu kwenye maisha yako. They will help you very 
nicely. Watakusaidia vyema. I hope that answers your question. Na tumai hilo linajibu maswali yako. God bless you. Swali lingine. They have asked oh. Yeah. yeah. Another question was this. Uh Je, unamjuaje ndugu mwenye roho mtakatifu? How do you know the brother with you with the Holy Ghost? That was the question. Ghost ghost ni mchungaji. Sema nenda kwa mchungaji. Go. Nenda kwa mchungaji kwanza. Okay. Swali lingine nasema hivi. Shalom swali. Je, ndugu akichumbia dada na akasema anabikira na ndugu akakuta hakuna kitu. Je, analuhusiwa kuoa mwingine na kumwacha huyo na gharama zinarudishwa <laughs> Shalom <laughs> Okay <laughs> Shalom this is a question If a brother courts a, a sister and then the sister tells her brother that she is a virgin and then later on the brother finds out that she actually lied Does a brother is a brother permitted to marry another and leave that one who lied to him and what about the cost. the cost that were involved to, to make that marriage should they be refunded to the brother <laughs> or not <laughs> actually actually is a, is a is a bread price that they are asking the bread price should should it be refunded or not <laughs> yeah the elders are answering those wazee yeah. wanajibu Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay. This is a question that has brought a lot of problems in the message. Hili ni swali ambalo limeleta shida nyingi kwenye ujumbe. Matthew chapter 19. Mathayo sura ya 19. They asked Jesus cast this question. Walimuuliza Yesu ili swali. He, he said can a man divorce the wife for any cause he said except it be for fornication wakamuuliza je mwanaume anaweza kumwacha mke wake kwa sababu yoyote akasema isipokuwa tu kwa sababu ya uwasherati now what is fornication hasa uwasherati ni nini it is us here who are not married ni sisi hapa ambao hatujaoana are the ones that can do fornication ndio tunaweza tukafanya uwasherati the married one cannot do fornication wale walioana hawafanyi hawafanyi uwasherati wanafanya uzinzi and the adultery when i'm married if i find my wife in an act i cannot divorce her na, ka, i na, can put her away na we, kama nime nime nimeoa na nikamkuta mke wangu anafanya uzinzi siwezi nikam taliki na uza nikamwacha tu pembeni kamweka pembeni and i'm not allowed to marry na siruhusiwi kuoa i have to stay single until i die nitabini nibaki hivyo hivyo mpaka nife oh my wife dies as when i'm allowed to marry another na yule mke wangu afe ndipo naruhusiwa kuoa tena but with you lakini kwenu nyinyi if you tell a man that you are a virgin and you are not a virgin kama ukimwambia huyu mwanaume wewe ni bikira na sio bikira the man discovers that you didn't have it na yule mtu akagundua kwamba hauna even when we cancel the wedding hata kama tukiahirisha ile ile sherehe he can marry another one anaweza aka yani tukaahirisha tunapotengua hata tunapotengua ndoa tunaweza tuka huyu akaoa tena that man can marry another one huyo mwanaume anaweza kaoa mwingine are we together je tuko pamoja you are not even allowed to marry another one wewe hata utaruhusiwa kuoa mwingine kuolewa na mwingine because we are a cheater kwa sababu wewe ni mdanganyifu this is why we are saying ndio ndio sababu tulikuwa tunasema be careful with what you are doing iweni makini na kile mnafanya we need to be sincere and honest inabidi tuwe waaminifu na wanyofu a man declare yourself mwanaume jieleze mwenyewe and if there is uh, where we have a lot of problems na kama kuna mahali tuna shida nyingi sana from the brothers ni kutoka kwa ndugu brothers many of them are stubborn they don't want to repent wa, wa ndugu wengi wana sita sita wata 
Lucky you can bear witnesses these pastors. Very few pastors go to the pastor and tell them that oh have done this, have done this, have done this. Very few. Hata wachache sana wanaenda kwa wachungaji na kuambia kwamba nimefanya hivi, nimefanya hivi, nimefanya hivi. Wachache. They look like they are holy men. Na wanaonekana kama watu watakatifu. When they are not the holy men. Lakini hata si watakatifu. Sisters, men of them. Wadada wengi sana. They confess. Wanakiri where you have 12 men maybe one man will confess the rest ka wakati una wanaume 12 labda mmoja tu atakiri wengine wataondoka zao that's why in church you find that you have sisters that are speaking in tongues prophesying brothers zilo ndio maana unaweza kukuta kanisani kuna wadada wananena kwa lugha na kutoa unabii lakini wa ndugu zero amna hata mmoja at the end all of them they want to be ministers now Mwisho wa siku wote sasa wanataka kuwa wahudumu sasa When they cannot even manifest any single gift Hata hawezi wakadhihirisha kipawa chochote cha roho hata kimoja God bless you Mungu awabariki Swali je unawezaje kumjua mwanaume ama mchumba ya, ya kwamba amejazwa na roho mtakatifu na je mtu aliye na roho mtakatifu anaweza kukosea swali kama hili lisoma akasema aende kwa mchungaji si ndio okay. vipi kama binti alichezewa akiwa na, na mdogo miaka sita au chini ya miaka sita unaweza ukasema wewe ni bikira au sivyo Okay this is also an important question <clears throat> If a, a lady was abused in her childhood when she was growing six. when she was like six years old or even lower than that than six years old and she was abused can she say that she's a virgin or not that's the question huh? <laughs> God bless you. Even though that the, the brothers are visitors I can answer these questions. There is no virginity that happens after being removed. Kama ubikira umetoka umetoka. If virginity have been removed it has been removed. Na ile mlani unajua kwamba nilikuwa na miaka 6 au yake. If you know that when I was 6 years old or less, si wakati ambako uko unajua, labda ulikuwa na miezi. It is not the time when you didn't know like when you have months. Eh wewe sio bikira. You are not a virgin. Uwezi kujiita bikira. You cannot call yourself a virgin. Sawa so, miaka iondoi kwamba unabaki unakuwa bikira kwa sababu bado unakumbuka kama nilifanya kitendo years cannot remove that you are not a, you are, you are a virgin because you still remember that i did the thing yeah kama kuna majibu tofauti mgea tajibu if there are different answers the pastor will okay. answer mungu abar mariki je dada na ndugu waliishi pamoja zaidi ya mwaka kama mume na mke na kuvalishana pete ya uchumba pasipo ndugu yoyote kujua yani wazazi hawafahamu na mahali haijalipia lakini baada ya muda huo wa miaka kupita walienda kwa mchungaji na kutubu je huyo dada anaweza kuolewa na ndugu mwingine au yule ndugu anawajibika kuoa yule dada na wote walikuwa waamini yo okay this is a question it is long so i will read it slowly a brother and a sister they live together on their own and uh, for more than a year as a husband and a wife and they actually they put on the uh, the Engage- rings on themselves without parents, engagement rings without par- engagement rings without parents and uh, without pastor or any brother or any sister to be involved on in that um, and uh, without even a bride price to be paid and uh, like nothing was known to their parents or anybody and they say after one year no after a certain time to pass 
they went to a pastor and to repent for what they did, that brother and that sister. So the question is, can that sister be married with another brother? Or that brother is responsible to marry that sister? Both of them were believers. The question is, okay, repeat the question. I will read it again, slowly and carefully. A brother and a sister. A brother and a sister lived together for more than a year as a husband and a wife, and they engaged themselves with the engagement rings without anybody knowing. That means, in parenthesis, their parents did not know, even the pastor did not know. Nobody knew or nobody was involved in all of that, but they were living together. And after a certain time to pass, after some time passed, they went to a pastor and they repented for what they did. The question is, can that sister be married with another brother? Or that brother is responsible to marry that sister? Both of these people were believers. Okay, I will read the, the, the quote here that uh, I will read and you will interpret. Huh? As long as they take that vow, they are married. Mara tu wanapofanya wanapo chukua hivi wanapofanya hivyo viapo wameoana just like a boy kama tu mvulana if a boy promises a girl to marry her under good faith kama kijana akimwahidi msichana kumuoa kwa imani stabiti au nia njema au nia njema he is obligated to that girl he is as just as good as married her. The only thing the law does is give you bill of rights to live together to keep from being common law husband and wife. mume but when a man tells a woman, I will marry you, honey. I will take care of you of you for my my wife. Will you take dash dash? He is married. Your vow is sacred. That that's what marries you anyhow. Hicho ndicho kinachokinachowaunisha kwa vyovyote. There is not no preacher can marry you. Hakuna mhudumu anaweza akawaunisha. No magistrate, hakuna mahakama, no or oh, nothing else. Hakuna au hakuna chochote kile. It is your own vow to God. Niki hapo chako mwenyewe kwa Mungu and to this man na kwa mtu huyu when you promise you are married unapoahidi umeoa acha niongeze kitu hapo let's go to exodus chapter 22 hebu twende katika kutoka sura 22 i read 15 and 16 nitasoma mstari wa 16 exodus 22 kutoka 22 15 sorry 16 and 17 na tutatuna 16 na 17 if a man seduces a virgin who is not engaged to anyone kama mwanaume akimchumbia bikira ambaye hajaposwa na kwa na yoyote and have sex with her na kulala naye he must pay the customary price and marry her. La anapaswa alipe mahali 
na kumoa haleluya haleluya the question was this man without the consent of the parents the 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 the, 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 the pastor they started living together I agree that's how the question was na mimi hiyo ndio uhusiano ulivyokuwa so according to the bible na kwa hiyo kulingana biblia when you live with a woman like that ukiishi na mwanamke namna hiyo she is your wife yeye ni mke wako are we together je tuko pamoja and the, this is why I, I was saying we were saying everything take to the pastor ndio maana kwa tunasema kila kitu kieleke kwa mchungaji help you ili kwamba mchungaji awasaidie okay suppose you don't marry this person ashum how ebu wazia kama hutamwa hutamwa huyu mwanamke how do you rub, how do you rub this in unawezaje kufuta hii dhambi you took somebody's daughter ulichukua binti mmoja and you ravished her na ukamharibu is it not so yes ivyo so who have you sinned against nani umemkosea nani umemfanya umemtendea dhambi you have sinned against the parents of the girl umefuatendea dhambi au umefanyia makosa wazazi wa wao huyo bint if you are serious with god na kama uko makini na mungu to clear this ili kuondoa hilo you need to go to the parents of the girl itabidi uende kwa kwa wazazi wa yule mwanamke that this is what we've been doing behind you wasema baba hivi ndio tumekuwa tukiishi nyuma ya mgongo wako me and your daughter mimi na binti yako we have cohabited for six months tumeishi pamoja kwa miezi sita you cannot just leave her and go and you feel you will get to heaven which heaven are you una uwezo kumwacha na uondoke na ufudhani kwamba utaenda mbinguni mbingu ipi you can't go huwezi kwenda and when you begin to make that now 17 is saying na unapoanza kufanya hivyo sasa 17 inasema but if a father refuses to let him marry her lakini kama baba yake huyo mwanamwali akataka kabisa kumpa the man must still pay him an equal mind to the bride price of a virgin yule mtu anapaswa atalipa hesabu atalipa fedha kama hesabu ya mahali ya mwanamwali ilivyo So you see the consequences here. Unaona madhara sasa hapa yanavyokuwa. You have to go and pay money. Lazima uende ukalipe pesa. Then it is up to the parents to say who marry this one. Na ni juu ya wazazi waseme kwamba wata huyu ataolewa. Or just pay the bride price and go. Au lipa tu hii mahali na uondoke. That's the only way how you finish that scene. Hiyo ndio namna pekee utamaliza hiyo dhambi. And if somebody is still in church na kama huyo mtu bado yuko kanisani and he knows that this is what he, uh, he, he has done na anajua hivi ndivyo amefanya you are a married man wewe umeshaoa if you are gay you are a married woman kama wewe ni mwanamke ni mwanamke umeshaolewa that's why you need to go and tell your parents to say father i've been a useless child unitabidi uende kuambie wazazi wako kwamba baba nimekuwa mtoto wahovyo this is what i've been doing behind your back hivi ndio nimekuwa nikifanya nyuma mgongo yenu and if you want you say go and bring that man na kama watataka watasema hebu nenda kamlete huyo mwanaume charge him for the bride price na hebu tumtoze mahali yetu if he doesn't pay is the pagan take him to court kama yeye halipi ni mpagani mpeleke mahakamani this is what he did to my daughter hivi ndivyo nilifanya kwa 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 binti yangu if they did that at you when you were even 16 years let the man safe in prison hata kama alikufanyia hivyo ukiwa na miaka 16 acha huyo huyo mwanaume ampeleke kule gerezani did you know that the church we have a lot of wrong things in the name of mercy unajua uh, kanisa tuna mambo mengi ma, 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 makosa katika jina la rehema la huruma so, so we need to be clean ko tunapaswa kusafishwa to to kama tunataka kuingia mbinguni mimi naambia watu kwenda mbinguni upande huu si jambo rahisi oh i'm saying going to heaven there kwenda mbinguni kule it will not be an easy thing halitakuwa jambo rahisi let's address ourselves ebu tuji 
Salenda ourselves. Ebu tujisalimishe wenyewe kweli so kweli. All these small small things are cleared off our lives. Ili kwamba haya mambo yote madogo madogo haya yameondolewa kwenye maisha yetu. If we don't do that. Kama tufanye hivyo. God is not a respecter of persons. Mungu haheshimu watu, haogopi watu. He will take those who have done it. Atachukua wale ambao wamefanya hivyo. Sodom and Gomorrah it is like Dar es Salaam. Sodoma na Gomorrah ni kama Dar es Salaam. And Dodoma. Na Dodoma. Fire came. Moto lishuka. Only three. Why we were tatu tu? Hello. Hello. How many were saved? Wangapi waliokolewa? 3. Watatu. Today you, you you feel he can't do the same. Leo nadhani kwamba hawezi kufanya hivyo. He can. Anaweza. Now you are privileged you are listening to this message. Sasa nyie mmepewa majaliwa mnasikiliza huu ujumbe. This message has come to prepare the bride to be free from sin. Ha, huu ujumbe umekuja kumtalisha bibi harusi awe huru kutoka dhambi. So let us take advantage. Hebu tuchukue when the way is still going on. Tufaidike wakati neno linavyoendelea. Bless you. Mungu awabariki. Okay, now we we go to a serious one. Sasa tunakwenda kwenye lile makini. This is a very serious one. We have another question? Okay, okay, we answer this then I go to the last one. A very serious one. Tutajibu inaenda kwenye lile mwisho ambalo ni makini sana. Sorry. Kama mtu ameamini akiwa sio bikira na baada ya kuamini ujumbe akaachana na yule mchumba asiyeamini, je, anaruhusiwa kuolewa na muaminio na je, kuhusu kulipa mahali ikiwa sio bikira huyo ndugu atakuwa anakosea kulipa <coughs> if a sister believed when she is not a virgin and after believing the message she left her fiance or her boyfriend which she had before she believed she Uh, the question is can she get married with a believer then what about paying the bride price if she is not virgin that brother will he be making a mistake if he pays the bride price i think it's clear ah uh, okay uh As I told you, kama nilivyoambia, what we are paying for, kile tunacholipia, it's the virginity. Ni ubikira. But if the brother says no, no problem. Kama ndugu akisema hapana, hamna shida, it happens. Ili etoke, ili ilishatokea, au pay. Nitalipa. No problem. Hakuna shida. As long as you say the truth. No, ili madi tumesema ukweli. Amen. Amen. As long as you have told the person that I'm not a virgin. Imadi tumemwambia yule mtu kwamba mimi si bikira. If he decides to pay, let him pay. Yes. Kama kama akiamua kulipa, acha alipe. Okay. Okay, the other question is like that. Kama akikubali, anapaswa alipe. Kama ame, kama ame, amekukubali yani amekubali kukuoa ku, 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 lazima alipe lazima alipe vile vile wembe ni ule ule kulipa lazima tulipe atuchukui bure okay. Okay. So, leading... vijana wasio akapata kafuru sasa nimekuwa usio bikira silipi mahali hakuna ah. vya bure <laughs> The... ukimsame unalipa yote The young men don't get pleased that if you, i find him I find her is not she, she's not a virgin I won't pay dowry payment you must pay the same way it's not an excuse I, okay the, the other question is like that sema wazazi hii sana sema kama ndugu alikuwa na mchumba kabla hawajaamini ujumbe na kisha akaamini je anaruhusu kumwacha yule aliyekuwa naye kabla hajaamini ujumbe ikiwa condition ikiwa wazazi wa bintie walikuwa hawajui na pasta alikuwa hajui na ndugu alikuwa ameshaahidiana na huyo dada swali muhimu ni halali kuachana naye okay this is also important if 
Okay, this is a brother asking. Uh -huh. If a brother had a fiance, um, Before. this is not a, a, a girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Is now like. Uh, okay, let fiance. me just read so that we understand. If a brother had a fiance before he believed the message, when after he believed, is he allowed to leave that woman who she had before she believed the message? These are important things to note that they were fiancés on themselves. Uh, Okay, the, the parents of the, of the girl did not know about it. And the pastor did not know that this brother had already promised a certain sister before he believed the message that he married her. The, and, and then he writes here, important question is, is it acceptable for this brother, who is now a message believer, to leave that fiance whom he had before he believed the message he had promised that he would marry her okay Fema. the sister also gave us the same question Na dada pia alitupa swali the hilo. sister said Na dada i leave the man outside for you to repent kwa wewe kutubu the only thing that you cannot end kitu ambacho uwezi ukakiailisha if you have paid something to that girl kama ulishalipa mahali kwa kwa ajili ya huyo mwanamke but if you have just promised her kama tu ulimwaidi go and tell her that i have believed the message nenda kamwambie nimeamini ujumbe unless you have approached the parents labda uwe uliwafuata wazazi then you can go back to the pastor the pastor will advise you ndipo unaweza kaenda kwa mchungaji na mchungaji atakushauri but just telling the girl that uh, i love you lakini kumwambia tu mwanamke kwamba nakupenda that is boyfriend and girlfriend huyo ni boyfriend na girlfriend yani vijana rafiki wa kiume na au wa kike It's not important in the sight of God. Si muhimu mbele za Mungu. You want to bring here a girlfriend? Unataka kuleta hapa ka marafiki wa kike. Rafiki wa kiume. Wa kike. No, kike. That is rubbish. Hapana hiyo ni takataka. Unless you have paid something. Isipokuwa umelipa kitu fulani come to the pastor njo kwa mchungaji explain your situation elezea hali yako god bless you mungu awabariki there is one thing which is there, is a, there was another question here youth. sorry yeah. he has questions we who this is not a youth hey you are you your youth what is your this person ah uh ah -uh. Oh, that is not a young yeah. okay so there is something which i want to present first kuna jambo ambalo nataka kuwakilisha kwanza ambalo linawasumbua uh our generation ina inasumbua kizazi chetu um i'm surprised here you have not asked that question na shangaa nie hamjauliza hilo swali the question about masturbation swali kuhusu masturbation punyeto punyeto Are you looking at me? Na nitazama. Na usagaji. Na na usagaji. Where is he say? Eh? Where is he say? He say like lesbianism. Lesbianism. Say bad spirit ni roho mbaya. Especially boys men is eh, asa asa wanaume you like masturbating mnapenda kufanya punyeto you must go and confess to your pastor itabidi uende ukiri kwa mchungaji wako hey look 
kufika kimila na nitazama kama yes you must abet you ndio unafanya punyato wewe I told you that I'm guys. Nitaka kuambia kwamba mimi e mwana mtoto. Nataka niwaambie mimi ni kama mtoto. Mtoto mtoto. Mtoto mtoto. Kijana kijana. And I face mtoto mtoto. Na mimi nataka ni nawaangalia na watoto watoto wenzangu. Mtoto 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 too na, much. I naongelea watoto watoto sana. The problems that they have. Shida walionayo. They like masturbating wanapenda kupiga punyeto <laughs> kupiga masturbation punyeto nenda kwa mchungaji wako go and see your pastor nenda umuone mchungaji wako you are not going to enjoy the marriage uwe utakwenda kufurahia ndoa masturbating is a spirit kupiga punyeto ni roho It's not holiness si utakatifu because i've i've no partner here kwa sababu sina mwenza hapa it's me alone ni mimi peke yangu no hapana for you to ejaculate kwa wewe kufika kilele ku, yeah, yeah, yeah. don't don't go just go straight kwa moja kwa moja kwa wewe ku, ku kutoa mbegu kumwaga <laughs> Why are you going? <laughs> Just go straight. Ndugu asija kazimia bure kwa sababu. Ah, ajaoa sasa mnamwambia tafsiri yake. He is not married. Is not married? Oh, hi. Ah, uh, interpreter. you must be at least imagining someone ili uweze kufika kileleni ni lazima uwe unamuazia mtu fulani kwenye akili zako it's like if it's a ball ni kama kama vile ni mwana ni wa kiume who start imagining someone a girl ataanza kumuazia binti fulani kwamba yuko naye That's a very very bad spirit. Hiyo ni roho mbaya mbaya sana. That's why I told you that don't be holy. Ndio maana niliwaambia msio watakatifu. Forget that you have we have pastors around. Sahauni kwamba kuna wachungaji hapa. Ask questions that can help you. Ulizeni maswali ambayo yanawaletea changamoto. We have issues in marriages. Tuna changamoto kwenye ndoa. A brother can sleep with a wife. Ndugu anaweza kulala na mke wake and he cannot be satisfied by a wife. Na hawezi kuridhishwa na mke wake kimapenzi. After finishing with the wife, baada ya kumaliza tendo na mke wake, he goes to the toilet. Anaenda chooni. Masturbating. Anaenda kupiga punyeto tena chooni. That's true. If it's not that, kama sio hivyo, then you fail to sleep with the wife. Utashindwa kulala na mke wako baadaye. You will tell the wife to start touching him. Utaanza kumwambia mke wako aanze kwanza kukugusa wewe kwanza, kukuchezea. Oh, tell the wife to suck. Au mwambie mke wako akunyonye ili uweze <laughs> and that is and that is very bad na hiyo ni mbaya sana it's a very bad spirit ni roho mbaya sana nasikika you find a sister unamkuta dada that's not been satisfied by the husband 
haridhishu na mume wake and he have something else which he was using at home na ana kitu fulani ambacho alikuwa anatumia kule nyumbani kabla ya leo When she come anapokuja she will tell you atakwambia pastor mchungaji i have no interest in my husband mimi sijisikii kuvutiwa na mume wangu kwa namna yoyote when i'm sleeping with my husband napola na mume wangu i have no interest sina msisimko wote ule naojisikia kwa mimi au sijidishwi that's why you have found marriages are breaking hapo ndipo nakuta ndoa sasa Where is the beginning? Mwanzo ni nini? Here. Ulianzia hapa. You like masturbating. Napenda kufanya au kupiga punyeto. You like watching pornography. Napenda kuangalia picha za ngono. That's why you you have passwords on your phones. Ndio maana mna nyuira kwenye simu zenu. Au password kwa hiyo. Nyuira password sawa sawa. Even though you look me like that I'll tell you. Hata kama mnaniangalia hivyo nitawaambia. Because I don't stay here. I'll go home. Even though you hate me. I have no problem with you. Hate me. But at the end of the day you see it important. Mtaona jinsi hivyo muhimu. Watching pornography. Kutazama picha chafu za ngono. It's a sin. Ni dhambi. Amen. Watching naked pictures. Kuangalia picha za watu ambao wako uchi. It's a sin. Ni dhambi. Amen. Go and confess to your pastors. Nenda mkatubu kwa wachungaji wenu. Don't be shy. Usione haya. It's a serious matter. Ni jambo makini sana. When you have your own home. Ukiwa na mji wako mwenyewe. You're not going to have any affection to your husband. Hautokuwa na ile shauku au hamu unless you watch pornography au vingineni umbaka kwanza uangalie picha za ngono ndipo utajisikia sasa hamu kwa mke wako au kwa mke wako kwa sababu ulishazoea watoto this time you can see that it, no, there is no problem hii jambo unaweza kuona kama vile halina matatizo this is a computer hii akili ni computer what everything that you feed yeah. this friend chochote ambacho unaweka huko kwenye akili yako It's the only thing that will be happening that's all. If you feel that you have you have failed to live the way you are. Kama unajihisi umeshindwa kuishi jinsi ulivyo. Go to the pastor. Nenda kwa mchungaji tell the pastor mwambie mchungaji pray for me niombe this body who will is troubling me unanisumbua amen it's a serious matter not joking ni jambo muhimu sana you watch pornography mnaangalia picha za ngono and you must bet halafu mnapiga kunyeto And you take it as he, it's a holy thing. Namna ichukua kama ni jambo nzuri. I've not the man. Mimi sina mtu. I'm just alone. Niko peke yangu. There is no sin. Hakuna dhambi, hakuna shida yote. There is a sin. Kuna dhambi. That act. Hicho kitendo. It must be a man with you being in the same act kinapaswa kifanyike mwanaume akiwa pamoja na wewe kwenye kitendo hicho ndio inabidi kifanyike 
if you have that problem kama una hilo tatizo my friendly advice ushauri wangu wa kirafiki go to your pastor nenda kwa mchungaji wako it's a very serious matter ni jambo la kumaanisha sana so many homes have been broken nyumba nyingi zinaharibika over pornography kwa sababu ya picha chafu za ngono and masturbation na kupiga punyeto you want the same act in the pornography unataka kitendo kile kile unachokiona kwenye picha za ngono to happen with your partner kifanyike ukiwa na mwenzako unataka vile ulivyoona vile ndivyo hivyo hivyo itoke kwako na mwenzako and it can't happen na haiwezi kutendeka vile ulivyoona those guys as demons kwa sababu wale watu nao waangalia wana mapepo yanaowachochea kufanya amen You see a lady performing something good in a in pornography. Unaona binti anafanya mambo mazuri kwenye picha za ngono. And you want your wife to perform that. Halafu unataka mke wako afanye kama hiyo vitu vilivyoona kwenye picha za ngono. She can't do that. Hawezi kufanya hivyo. She has no demons. Hana mapepo kama yale yaliyoona. At the end of the day you start quarreling. Mwisho wa siku mtaanza kubishana au kuzozana. Because you have fed your mind that a wife, a wife must be like that one. Kwa sababu umeshaijaza akili yako kwamba mke wangu lazima anifanyie kama vile. Nilivyoona. Ladies, mabinti, you see big big things in pornography. Naona vitu vikubwa kule kwenye picha za ngono. And you find your husband as a small thing. Hapo nakuta mke wako ana kidogo. There you have a problem. Ndipo mnaanza kupata shida. You want the same thing that is in pornography. Unataka kitu kile kile kikubwa hicho ana kwenye picha za ngono. To come alive. Kiwe hapa kwa mke wako awe nacho. From that time. Kutoka kuanzia wakati you won't enjoy your marriage. Kuanzia wakati wa huto furahia ndoa yako kamwe. The remedy I can give you. Dawa naweza kupatia. Go and see your pastor. Nenda kamuone mchungaji wako. It's not too late. Bado hujachelewa. If you are kissing kama mnabusiana with your sister na dada mwenzako. If you are kissing kama mnabusiana a man to man mwanaume na mwanaume mwenzako. Yes. Dio. Especially sisters, they kiss. Hasa hasa wadada wanagusiana. Go and see the pastor. Nenda kamuone mchungaji. Say bad spirit. Ni roho mbaya. What's wrong with my sister? Kuna shida gani dada yangu? There is something wrong there. Kuna makosa fulani pale. Your lips. Midomo yako. They are supposed to kiss a husband. Midomo yako inapaswa kumbusu mume wako. Not a fellow woman. Sio mwanamke mwenzako au binti mwenzako. The evil spirits in you. Ni roho ovu kufanya hivyo. And it will hinder you from getting married na itakuzuia hiyo roho wewe usiolewe because you have no interest of men kwa sababu hujisikii kuvutiwa na wanaume also you have no interest of who? women na nyie pia mnajikuta haamvutiwi na wanawake that's why you are getting late ndio maana mnachelewa kuoa Because you're enjoying yourself. Kwa sababu mnafurahia mna mna vitu vya kuwafurahisha wenyewe. No, I'm waiting to prepare. Sasa nasubiri nijiandae. Hence you are masturbating. Kumbe huku unapiga kuje. You you have the, the scripture. Unaandika. 
Uh, uh. You get it? Okay. He has a scripture. You can read. Yeah, hard, hard. Because okay, we are about so to finish. Okay, wabariki mi siyo kwamba kulikuwa na swali lakini kuna kitu fulani kidogo hapo there is no question but there is some small things there ambacho nitaka kuongezea ambacho ni cha muhimu sana that i wanted to add which is very important kwa uzoefu mdogo kwa umri wangu we in my small experience with my age kwamba hapa tuko kwa umri tofauti that here we have uh, we are different ages here lakini nataka kusema kuna neema kubwa but i want to say that there is a great grace kama umepata huu ujumbe ukiwa mdogo if you receive this message when you are still young na kama Mungu amekupa neema kuwa mtifu kwa huu ujumbe and if god give you grace to be obedient to this message kwa sababu shetani anachokifanya because what the devil does akisha kuona wewe umekuwa binti na mwana wa Mungu if we see you are a daughter and son of god kuwa kama petro anavyosema anakuvizia Uh, most of the time as peter says he come privily to you ukiacha gap kidogo karudi nyuma kwenye neno if you leave a small gap and withdraw just a bit from the word anakuchomekea vitu ambavyo vitakuwekea kumbukumbu mbaya he bring things which will bring you bad memories kwao nataka kusema kwa vijana i want to say for young people faida ya kumtumikia mungu kwenye ujumbe huu There is a benefit to save the Lord in this message. Ni yule uwe na kumbukumbu nzuri maishani mwako. So that you can have good memory in your life. Inje ya ujumbe. Outside the message. Shetani anakuhakikisha amekuingizia kumbukumbu mbaya. The devil will make sure we give you bad memories. Kwa mfano, for example, unaweza ukawa huko kijana hapa. You can be a young man here. Mungu awabariki. God bless you. Wewe ni kijana. You are a young man. Unaweza kwa kwa sababu mapepo yamekuvaa because the demons are overpowering you ukakuta umewanguni binti za Mungu huko watatu wa 4 wa 5 and you find yourself lying or uh, trying to seduce maybe three or four girls or ladies here and you have slept with the, with them na ukishafika mahali and uh, when you get to a, a point labda umeoa you have ma- you are married umetubu You have repented. Mungu amekusamehe. God forgive you. Lakini but ukiwa kanisani ibadani. When you are in the church, unamuona yule dada pale. You see that sister whom you slept na, with. Shetani anakukumbusha kumbukumbu la tukio la. And the devil will remind you what you did with her before. Labda ulimharibia future yake. Maybe you destroyed her future. Alafu ukimuona mwingine hivyo. And then you, when you look at another the same thing. Kuna kitu mchungaji amezungumza hapa. There is something that the pastor spoke here. Kwamba vijana kwa wavulana kwa wavulana msibusiane. That men to men don't kiss one another. Unakuta labda maroho ya urawiti yamekuingia ya ushoga. And uh, you find you have uh, you have this uh, homosexual spirits. Homosexual spirits Anafu. that come and overpower you and possess Unakuta. you. Unakuta Ume, umetembea na wavulana watatu wa 4 wa 5. And maybe you have slept with Three or four or five men. Alafu nafika mahali Mungu anakusamehe hiyo jambo. And you go to a point where God forgive you. Unaendelea. And you continue. Lakini siku uko ibadani. And but one day you are in the church. Au mahali unatembea. Or somewhere you are walking. Unaomoa yule kijana. Shetani anasema. You see that man and the devil. Ulishana na yule kijana mvulana mwenzio. And the devil tells you you have already slept with that man who is a man like you. Kwani ukiona na huyo ndugu labda huyo kijana yuko kanisani. And maybe that same person is in the church. Uone kama hizo kumbukumbu zitakutesa. What do you do you think about those memories? Kwa hiyo shetani How anaanza they... maisha yako yote yanaanza kuwa una, una, unaishi kwa kwa past yako, yani kwa maisha ya zamani. So the, your whole life will be living by past memories. Huwezi kuenjoy present. You will never enjoy the present yani time. Yani wakati uliopo the present time wana huwezi kuenjoy future you cannot even enjoy the future time lakini we huko kanisani but you and the church ila zile kumbukumbu zinakutesa and those memories are killing you inwardly wao ndo nasema usimpe nafasi don't give a chance shetani akakutumbukizia kumbukumbu to the devil to give you these bad experiences nuku ya mwisho tu namaliza sina mbona just a, just a last quote I, i'm finishing kwenye maswali na majibu in the question and answers 
eh kwanza nisome anasema naji nasoma nasoma kwa wandugu I'm kwa reading to the brother mchungaji alisema huku kuna shida because the pastor said there is a problem sasa kiza nabii anachosema na maana listen what the prophet say I'm, I'm finishing nanyi mnaodai kuwa wana wa Mungu and you who claim to be sons of god msimamo wenu uko wapi where is your stand kama mwanamke hayuko katika mahali pake if the woman is not at her place si wewe u mwana wa Mungu and you the son of god je wewe ndio uliye bora na chombo chenye nguvu and you the best and the powerful Vesso anasema je si wewe ndiye uliye bora na chombo chenye nguvu and you the best and the powerful vessel kama biblia inasema hivyo as the bible says yeye ni dhaifu zaidi she is weaker than you yeye ni dhaifu zaidi she is weaker than Ndipo, you ndipo kama yeye yu chombo kidhaifu so if she is weaker th- th- bas, than you then basi jionyeshe mwenyewe mtu wa Mungu show yourself as a man of god mwambie useme tell her dada umekosea sister you are wrong hiyo ni kweli that's true nimefanya hilo you have done that nimefanya nabii anasema nimefanya hilo i've done that hero. i've done that na wakristo wengine wamefanya hilo and the other christians have done the same na utafanya hivyo mradi tu ni mkristo and you will do that as long as you are christian lakini jitambulishe mwenyewe wewe u mwana wa mungu but identify yourself as a son of god wewe u mwana wa mungu you are a son of god una nguvu zaidi ya nafsi yako kuliko mwanamke alivyo you have power you have more power in your soul than your, than a woman kama yeye yu dhaifu if she is weak mtambue yakuwa ni dhaifu just identify or know her as a weak fahamu makosa yake no her mistakes na mambo kama hayo and things like that au jaribu kumsaisha mwanamke huyo oh try to correct that woman sema dada sisi ni wa kristo tell her sister we are christians i trust you fanya hivi we are not supposed to do like Mungu this wabariki. god bless you naomba nitoe ushuhuda kwenye hilo uh, let me give you a Yambo testimony on that mimi. something Isemi. that to me kama ukizamiria if you purpose in your heart kutii ujumbe to obey the message kutii Mungu to obey god kulitii neno to obey the word Mungu anakupigania god will fight for you yani Mungu akiona una nia hiyo if god see that you have that uh, Mungu lazima ashuke kwenye majaribu kukupigania god will come in your trials to help you mwaka 2012 nilikuwa mnyofu sana moyoni when i was uh, very honest in my heart nilikuwa nasoma jumbe i was reading the message nilianza kuwa na urafiki na dada i was uh, having a friendship with a certain sister sana. who was also honest in her heart na mimi ni, ni kwa neema ya Mungu nilikuwa na unyofu fulani moyoni and uh, by the grace of god i had a certain honest in my heart nilikuwa na ghetto langu i had my own ghetto siku ya sika kapita one day she came by moyoni nikijua ni kosa In my heart I knew akapita right. pale kunisalimia. But she passed by to Tunawapangaje wamepita hapa na wasalimia na wote wananiita mtumishi mtumishi wanajua. And we have the the fellow people who will live Lakin together that call me a servant of God and then she passed by. Alivyotoka huko when she came alikuwa tayari ameshavuviwa. She had she was already inspired. Yaani anatamaa ili kupindukia. She have a concu, 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 concu Nilipoona jambo hilo the very high desire nikasikia uwepo wa Mungu uliopitiliza kwenye ch- kile chumba when i saw that thing i i felt a great presence of god in that room na kama ningeruka huo uwepo wa Mungu and if i could have uh, go beyond that presence of god nisingekuwa hapa ninavyoongea i couldn't have been here the way i'm talking nikatumia hii kanuni hapa I use this uh, Dada Mungu akubariki sister god Mungu bless you akubariki. god bless Mungu akubariki. you god bless you ile hali kamtoka that thing went away from her who analikumbuka hilo tukio kwa sababu Mungu aliamua that thing aliamua kunipigania because god fought for me leo tungekuwa na hadithi nyingine maybe today we could have speaking other things nimalizie kwa kusema hivi i am finishing by saying ukiwa mtiifu kwenye haya mambo if you obey in these things ndio maana nabii akasema Mungu ata Mungu atakalazimika kukupa mbali na wokovu kukupa mke mzuri na kupa mume mzuri. That's why the prophet say God will give you a good husband a good wife apart from salvation. Alafu mambo hayo yatasababishia familia yako Mungu lazimike kuirinda ndoa yako. And those things will push God will constrain God to bless your marriage. Alafu and then Mungu atalazimika kulipa gharama za kukulinda yani God will be constrained to keep you 
hata watoto wako even your children na kizazi chako and your generation ndio maana unaona kuna ndoa zingine zinafanikiwa kuanzia watoto that's why you see kitu. other marriage prosper from the children and everything kwa sababu wale waliazimia wali tangu mwanzo because those parents began well from the beginning to obey the word of god mungu awabariki god bless you kwa hiyo kwenye hilo so on that one mimi nawaomba kama mchungaji alivyosema i beg you as a pastor say kama kuna kosa limefanyika if there is anything wrong hata baada hivi vikao after this meeting haraka iwezekanavyo kamuone mchungaji if it is possible kuna maroho as soon as possible go and see the pastor kuna maroho mabaya mno there are very evil and wicked spirits. Mungu awabariki. God bless you. Wangapi wana amani? How many feel peace in their heart? Watoto wana amani eh? How many does not feel peace in their heart? Ninyi ni watoto wa Mungu. This one does not have peace. This one they don't feel peace how are we? How are we? Amani. Hawana amani? Yeah. Itakuja tu. You will, don't worry you will have peace. Eh, kwa sababu wakati wa operation because uh, at the time of operation kama una uvimbe if there is a the tumor if there is a tumor or something eh daktari anapotoa when the doctor is operating and removing that tumor unasikia maumivu makali you feel a lot of pain lakini uvimbe si umetoka but that tumor is being taken out baada ya muda fulani after some time ah wewe utakuwa uko na furaha you will be relieved amen amen kwa sababu njia ya mkristo ni njia ngumu because the christian way is a very hard way amen amina jambo kubwa The great thing ninaamini ushauri uliotolewa ni ushauri mzuri sana sana sana. I believe the advice that has been given is a very good advice. Kwa sababu mambo yaliyo neno yanatukabiri au yanawakabiri vijana. Because the things that are spoken are upon the young people. Eh, they are before you. Lakini njia kama tulivyosikia ushauri sahihi wa kineno but as we have heard the best advice from Fanya the mchungaji wako kuwa rafiki. Make your pastor your best friend. Nenda ukakae naye ukamwambie. Go sit with him and tell him. Ana dawa zote. He has got every kind of medicine. Atatoa hiyo hali mbaya ulionayo. He has power to remove that Kuliko bad condition that you have. Kuliko kujificha kuwa katika hali mbaya zaidi. But if you continue to hide you will you will continue to be in a very bad condition mungu abariki sana god bless you so much ah uh, tuko vitani we are at war na shetani ajalali and the devil does not sleep ni kama simba ngurumai it is like a roaring lion tukiangalia kizazi hiki kinaitwa kizazi cha digitali if we look at this generation is a digital generation yani, ni ngumu sana kujificha shetani anakuzunguka it is very hard to hide yourself the devil is every place everywhere lakini ukitaka kuwa salama but if you want to be safe ni wewe kujiunganisha na Mungu connect yourself to God na zaidi sana and in so much yani uo ni ukweli usiopingika that is a honest truth utajirinda mwenyewe bila kuwa na kiongozi you cannot guide yourself without a guide kiongozi wako wa kwanza ni mchungaji wako your first guide is your pastor mchungaji wako atakuongoza kwa mchungaji mkuu your pastor will lead you to a great shepherd aba ni roho mtakatifu which is the holy ghost amen amen na utashinda majaribu mengi ambayo and you will overcome a lot of temptations mungu awabariki sana god bless you so much Yeah, na hawa wazee. Have you blessed with these elders? Hata kama mengine yalikuja kama machungu. Even if others came as a bitter, lakini naamini ameponya mali fulani. But I believe they have uh, helped somewhere. Amen. Healed somewhere. Mungu awabariki sana. God bless you so much.